We're going to be covering chapter 9 on hard. As you can see, the town that never sleeps. Um, I did get cut through before, so I probably have to... I'm going to probably just be picking it up from where I am now. Uh, this is going to be covering the bulk of chapter 9. Um, and I will just be talking quickly about what we're going to be running into. All jobs, all that, because this is going to be a pretty break. It's going to be sort of like a... After getting through the collapsed highway of Sector 6, or what remains of it at least, uh, we're going to arrive at the next town, the next big town. Um, similar in structure to, like I said before, Final Fantasy X. It always goes back to X. Final Fantasy X is more or less seems to be what the overall story progression and structure or the world itself was, you know, loosely um, based off of. Um, they also, I could see fondly, they use the same chocobo design um, as they did in ten, same chocobos. They also just, in general, it seems to have the same pacing as ten. Also, many other things are also shared in common with ten. For example, at the point in which, in the story, we are about twenty, uh, I don't know, halfway through, not yet into the midpoint, but getting close, and we now make our way to uh, wall market. This is approximately at about roughly about the same time we approached Luca. Seeing a pattern here, right? And it's also at this time that we're going to encounter a huge encounter in the form of the Hell House. Um, this being said, it's very interesting how there are so many things in common that they share with each other, but more importantly, I also just wanted to take at the moment to really take in uh, his observation to the hearkening that remember these two games, 10 and 7, these are like, these two Final Fantasies in particular are very highly connected to one, one another. For one predominant reason, and this is because of Yoshinori Katase, he's highly connected to their, um, you know, their, um, identity, I guess, you know, each one, is they're both identified in the same universe, as opposed to other Final Fantasies, like, they follow a very, a very similar, uh, lore, if you will, and that's why if you really take a look at little tiny little things, such as the chocobos, or the types of the types of abilities like sword play, um, the like I said, the subspecies that you'll fight, and then just observe the subspecies that you fight in Final Fantasy X, and then just look, just look, you know, just observe each of these worlds, and just take a look at how Final Fantasy X was based, and then look at Final Fantasy VII, the integrate. This really does mark it. This marks the point of which where we then arrived at Luca. Is it? Does it not? <laughs> it's so. The structure, it's so similar. At this point in time in Final Fantasy X, I remember us approaching Luca by ship and we were sort of more or less getting ready to travel into the Mi and I roads and whatnot. So they're going to take a similar narrative and approach, I would imagine. Because this is in itself like Luca. It serves as the big main hub for the game's world that sort of puts Spira and in this case Midgar on the map. Am I, am I wrong? I mean like it sort of represents the heart of Midgar. Whereas the Sector 7 slums reminds me more of like the opening village of like Besaid. You know, Besaid has always acted as that of the opening, you know, of uh, the opening sleepy town. Where in reality, Besaid actually is the location of Utai. But that's in the facts, when you're actually talking about the facts facts on how they're actually truly, really connected. Yeah, Wutai is Besaid village. That's where Wutai that? is. Because they're the same universe, they're exactly the same. Same exact universe, just different timelines. So yeah, Wutai was one, at one point 
um, Besaid Village and um, Midgar's uh, one point Luka Stadium and Luka City was at one point, uh, you know, the Far Plain and Luka, Guado Salam, it's all connected to Midgar. Where what's left of it seems to be the Far Plain, right? Far Plain and Guado Salam. They seem to be the the only living relatives that are closest to the ancients, which in this case are the Setra or Guado. In other words, the Guado seem to be referred as more or less the same thing as Setra, beings that are one with the planet, or are the Guado just ain't you know they could perhaps just be. Um, forms of uh, what do you call it, Genova, you know, copying etc. and forming their own. I don't really know. But then we have the Ronzo, which are obvious, they're an obvious development from the Nanaki tribe because clearly they come from around the same region. Um, the only difference is that they seem to have migrated down south into the northern mountains where the um what is it called the the southern fucking crater you know where the crater is down south where the promised land is supposed to be but instead they they migrated and now we have the Ronzo which are like the Nanaki but now they stand on two feet and hold a spear but they're more or less the same thing as the Nanaki tribe except now they go by the Ronzo tribe now they migrated in the mountains after I guess the great meteor came indicated by Nanaki having the last actual action right at the very end of Final Fantasy 7 we saw Nanaki and his cubs Leaving the ruins of Midgar, which would be what? What would what would lie beyond that? The Promised Land, right? So they sort of started running beyond it, and yeah, it sort of indicated hints. I mean, his name is Kamari Ronzo, Nanaki of the G Tribe, Red Thirteen Kamari Ronzo. And then, of course, we have another another huge Zorg giveaway. Look at Meister and look at Bugenhagen. Tell me you don't see a similarity between those two. Bugenhagen, Meister. Just look at Meister and Bugenhagen. And then remember that the Maesters, there are only a certain number of Maesters, right? And which Maesters were they? The Maesters, to me, I remember Keenock looked a lot like President Shinra, almost dead on. Just some bald old dude, right? And then we had Maester... Um... Fucking... Uh, Maester... Uh, Seymour, who is like Sephiroth. No, there was no... Uh, no disguising that. And then we had Maester... Um, I forgot the guy's name. Maester Micah, but Maester Micah, like I said, he looked exactly like Bugenhagen. Bugenhagen was just in relationship exactly with who? Nanaki. Like, the party lineup for this game is very simple. Titus, Cloud, Barrett, Waka, Orin, Vincent, <clears throat> um, Yuffie, Riku, Yuna, Lulu, Aerith, well, it's really Yuna and Lulu is Tifa and... Because Lulu is definitely Tifa, because Tifa is the one who has the enormous mammary glands. Which is what we're going to be doing. Um, there are going to be actually five manuscripts that we'll have to obtain. Well, we'll be able to do it. And since this is like the first main, like, big city that we've kind of seen yet, I mean, this in Sector 7, we we're gonna take the 5, but a small place. Uh, to enter or not to enter, you totally get where I'm coming from, right?
Let me guess. But it only lasts a moment, doesn't it? Huh? Got a question for me? <laughs> Tifa around. Tifa? My love? My love? No, shut up. I don't care. Oh, God, no. <gasps> Tifa, I'm coming. Yo, you're not good enough for... What do you want? Or need to know. Exactly. Now, if you still haven't seen or... You know, haven't put it all together. The beauty that the Iron Blade offers. It is his most well-rounded weapon out of all of his weapons it just is don't ask me how or why but it is and although i guess i could t i could tell you why there's many reasons for from one it has trade-off for two it has really high physical defense for three it's got a perfect number of both attack and magic attack whilst also not offering a any true weak points it's got four single slots and one connection um, while hosting trade-off 13 points of defense while getting um, even more defense when you actually have high health so that brings it up to 18 then with his physical re reduction that's another 10 percent that's pretty much a quarter of health reduced no matter what you no matter the case so he pretty much reduces about quarter of health quarter of damage at all times Look at all physical damage is taken in about 25% less when you have this weapon equipped. All attack, both magic and melee, both has equivalent rating. The only area this weapon seems to black or slack in is its magical defenses, but it's not a big deal because it has superior healing in desperation mode, so it's fine. And with trade-off and his naturally high stats, it's a good weapon. Seven, 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 one, three. I mean, you gotta think about what you're looking at here. It's the natural giver to the triple slash ability, and therefore I can't say it's bad. When looking at uh, certain abilities, we have to look at how much pressure something gives, how much damage it gives, and how much stagger. So knockback, I guess you'd call it. So good build for Aerith, right? Because she is without a doubt in question. Um, if you hadn't gotten the Seraphic Earrings, I would do that. The Crescent Moon Charm is good as well as... The Enchanted Ring, if you're going to go with the Magnified Timing, that could work. is only good for her that's what I noticed like if there's anybody it's only good for her Mithril Rod is one of my favorites but it's I haven't really had enough time to really observe her which I should have but we're gonna need to really work on her because of the boss coming up soon a big boss But this thing has got most of what it needs right now already, so really all I'm going to do is get some... I mean, it already has so much magic power, there's no need. Really, the connection here, I'm just going to go with the connection. Because that's the best thing to grab, let's be honest. Because we need, we need to set her up for the encounter to come, which means that we need her to set up for... Um, to have every single element. And therefore, I would like to make sure she's synergy with the bio. And she is... Got access to every single element that you could think of. And that would include ice. She's not gonna need. She's not gonna need all of them because of the fact that we have to target the Hell House. That's why it's gonna take up so many slots. But once you cover up every single base, you'll be in good shape. 
then equip her with other things that'll be really important. Because it's gonna be the thing that's gonna use up the most, I think. Time. I know it's all fucking magic, but. You're gonna get a free cast of poison almost at any given point in time. Barrier in time, magnify healing. I feel like magnify time would be better off though. Da, 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 da. Okay, poison, ice, fire. I'm not going to be able to afford the synergy right now. We have other things we have to put in. Steadfast block is going to be important for the overall and ATP assist. And scale is also very, very good. Again, I don't need it. And then leave the other thing to... Um, I guess give her the revival max, and then yeah, you got yourself a magic build. You're in good shape. Alright, so when you're ready to go... Alright, if you're on hard mode, obviously you can just bypass most of this shit. And we can get straight to the goods. Which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get straight up into it. Get straight to it. Think you're too good for my we have to go to Don Corneos. Like I said, this gives us the scope. These are. In fact, the world map of Spira actually fits that of Final Fantasy VII's Gaia. They're very much exactly the same. <laughs> Mount Coral, they're exactly the same. Guado Salam, where the far plane is located, is exactly roughly equivalent to where Midgar is implemented on the map. The moon flow, um, the river, or uh, the Junin River, and the moon flow, Midgar and Guado Salam, the far plane, um, then of course there's the river, Makalania, which sort of represents a little bit, the Besaid represents Wu Tai. And then you have Kilika, that represents Mithril area, Junin, I guess you call it, the Junin place, the area of Junin, just like you have Kilika. And then you have, um, like I said, the Coral area, which in Final Fantasy X was the Moonflow slash Makalania. And then, of course... You have the gold saucer area, and we have the um, the calm lands, just like we had the you know the golden saucer on the desert, and um, the lands beyond Mount Nebel, Gangaga and stuff like that, the jungles of Gangaga. Then we had like Mangalia, Makaladia, and the calm lands, and then eventually. We get to the other continent, where then separates. Where we have Zanark and Ruins, and in this game we have the Promised Land, which is kind of like beyond the Calm Lands, and it's where the Northern Crater is, and is very much similar to the Zanark and Ruins location, and Mount Gagazet. So you just need to look at the map of Seven, and then look at the map of Spira to see that. 
these two worlds are pretty much the same. They are not different. They are very much the same. Just at different time periods. That much is clear. So fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah. So. And just like Luca, in a wall market, Luca, again, like I said, maybe, but you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kind of cute, homely but cute. Excuse you? Kind of cute. It's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? We in here. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Cut off his dick. I love this, bro. Shout out Dana Conrad. Who can give us that? The trio. Shout out to the next employer that will hire me, bro. First. <laughs> and I've applied for eight different jobs, so. And then there's Madam M over at the massage bar. Probably won't hear anything today, but let's hope. Out of these eight play, out of these eight players, one of these motherfucking players makes the right move and hires me. And he comes smart enough to come knocking. Still got enough to get my vape pens though. Still got enough for my games and my vapes and my content. Come work with uh, me, I'll text you the details. Yeah? Yeah, I am looking for work. That's the thing. If you could, yeah, I would do that. Because I asked my friend Richie to do that for me, and he was like too, he was too embarrassed. And I'm like, Richie, why, man? Why? Why? I don't know if you knew Richie Swanson, but I think you met him before. He's, he's like my friend. Oh, you probably saw it before. And I was like, Richie, you do, like, you do bricklaying or whatever. And I'm saying, if you do welding and stuff like that, or you work, or whatever, as with your... I know, I know that, I know he's a contractor. Yeah, like, I don't know why he was so, such a, Why was he so embarrassed to just ask his fucking contractor? Because my father was a contractor. I don't understand. He was working for a contractor. He could have just been like, my friend needs some fucking appointment. He was just embarrassed. That's just Richie. That's just how he is. I'm not going to hate on him for it. That's just Richie. He's weird like that. He still does the shit. Richie, not Richie Moscato, though. Um, Richie Swanson. He's like, he's a lot younger than me, though. So I don't, I always looked at him as like a little brother. I know. But I know Richie Moscato, he's kind of, he's been up to, I don't know. I don't want to speak for anybody. So I, I hope he's doing the best, though. I know that Richie Swanson's doing good, though. As far as I know. <laughs> but I don't know, because we know two Richies. We know the other Richie, too, and that's a different Richie. His dog, that, I think, on. um, passed away, but... That sucks. But, my prayers to Samantha. That was the dog's name. Anyway, what I love about this part of the game, by the way, is yeah. how you sure about this? Uh, the presentation, you know, with the presentation. Really. Did so you play Final Fantasy X? Oh, I love this guy, he's such an idiot. He would never have a chance at Tifa. To earn such a privilege, you must first He's too much of a jackass. Of one of the trio, right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. You'll Stay never strong, get her, Tifa. dude. <clears throat> He's like, you're just the stepping, you are the stepping stool that's used to get the guy. Exactly. Nope. Right? <laughs> nope. Nope. The main antagonist, oh, the main protagonist couldn't have said it better himself. Or myself. Because I just said it like two beats before he did. Nope. Because he's just not. He's the, the beta bitch male. And I um, feel so bad for that guy, too. He doesn't even realize he's a beta bitch. He's just rolling along thinking he's big old mighty perfect dude, and he's really just missing everything. He's like, 
Like, yeah, you're a good looking guy, but you're completely like you're off, dude. It's like having the perfect tool, but it just doesn't do the job. It's like, what's wrong with this guy? You're frustratingly good looking. I just play video games and get work in multi talented lol. Ah, fuck this place, not yet. Well, I'm trying to point out that as a first. I was a, you know, I grew up alongside the first Final Fantasy 7. Most players who even play Final Fantasy 7, this Final Fantasy 7 probably didn't even play the first game. Let alone grew up alongside it, so I can't... It's hard for me to sit around listening to their opinions when they don't... How would they even have the same opinion as me? Because they didn't grow up alongside it like I did. Like, I literally grew up alongside the internet as did you and more the other people like along us millennials because millennials is the one special thing that we did do is that we brought the internet we were the first generation to bring the internet so fuck yeah internet bringers we are and you know how much the world loves the internet and it's because of us that the internet exists <laughs> kind of on, a, on like a more or less because there was never a generation after us to not the exist without it, you know? It had the open -end combat as opposed to turn -base FF. This one doesn't, though. It was what I like about it, though. I really liked this because it melded the best of both worlds, you know? Sorry about that. Yeah, it, my voice cracked. Um, but yeah, it melds the best of both worlds. Um, it has action and it has turn you know like so realism of what they were trying to go for with the turn based because it was turn based you know what i mean but i like 15 you know it's good on 15 to do do a challenge try doing no items on 15 or in fact it's kind of cool to find out like play styles of other players to see how they play a game because i guess this is what always drew to me rpg games you know sean it's always like the art of how a person plays their game, you know, like anybody could string a shitload of buttons together, but to see how a person plays, you know, is just, it's interesting, it's artistic, especially RPGs, because there's so many different things you could do at your disposal, but nowadays, the line between what's an RPG and what's not sort of is blur, you know what I mean? Like, there's really no definitive line as to what- I feel like every game really is striving to be an RPG, uh, in a sense. In other words, every game is striving to be a... you know... content-based, fulfilled with strategy and... not base, it doesn't- you know what I mean? It's not- in this parking lot right now. Well, exactly. You don't want to have that. You want to have strategy. And like, for example, like, would you rather have something that actually makes you think, or would you rather just have something that's just like, okay, smack a stick and it'll do damage? People want nuance. You know, they don't want like, okay, like a brain dead fucking idiot can do it, because that 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 takes the magic out. You know, like I want to see the reaction of like hitting something with lightning if it's standing in water that I'll get more damage out of it because it's standing in water and lightning will get you know what I mean like I just want as realistic as possible that's what I want I want realism but I want to be rewarded of the things I can't see in real life like I know for a fact that if something was covered in oil that I could dash it with a lighter and I could fucking like flash it up with fire and that would feel so good to see like red numbers appear over them and but I don't get to see that in real life but like in a game I can, you know, like just douse them in oil, right, just get a shitload of gasoline, douse them, and then just throw a cocktail at them, bro, boosh, fire aga, bro, welcome to magic, I'm about to hit you up with some real fire, I'm gonna light your ass up and scathe, Woo! is that real enough for you, are those numbers high enough for you, looks like you got afflicted with a debuff, burn, you be taking damage, <laughs> Yeah, they'll be taking damage over time, D.O.T. Unfortunately, burn also gives a damage on contact, too, so you gotta stay away from them, because it'll hurt you, too, so... It's some fucking bad stuff. But shit, yeah, I mean, if you think about it, we can use magic, because we could use hydro... We could use ice, in, like, um, you know, fucking white ice. Um, although it doesn't make any sense, because hydro peroxide is not as effective as using, like... A flamethrower, really. I mean, it's not. It's not. 
because fire will just get further. I mean, ice is definitely stronger than fire in the old long run, but I mean, it's not realistic to use that. But if you go into space, you will immediately turn into ice, and you would just be like, fucked. <laughs> Alright, where is the first guy we gotta go to? We gotta go to these three trios. The three trios. Just like, um... Similar to how we had to go and find Yuna in Final Fantasy X. And I know everybody knows Final Fantasy X. I sure as fuck remember Final Fantasy X. We had to go and... Help Yuna out. Um... From the Albed captors. How ironic, as we are helping, um... Tifa from her captors. So fucking weird, man. Alright, let's talk to Sammy, man. But he's gonna try to do the double headed coin bullshit. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes. Sam is like he reminds me a lot of Wants and Awaka a lot. Yeah, like you know. Well, I mean, if you remember Wants and Awaka from Final Fantasy X. Almost time for lunch break. How can you be so Bro, you gotta you gotta hit me up the details. Um, in the future. Can you seriously do that though, Sean? If you have jobs open? I mean, I'm not trying, I'm like, I'm, this isn't a competition, man. I, I'm, I'm just trying to look for work. So if you can find me some work, I'd really appreciate that, man. There's a friend to a friend, like, that'd be nice. And then, yeah, just give me the details and I'll show up. If it's like that, you know? If it's a job, job like, you know, freelancing? If it's freelancing, yeah. Yeah, if it's freelancing, because that's the thing, is that I'm just a freelancer. And I'm, like, completely open. And if you do, thank you in advance. I mean, um, obviously you got to take care of your own first. But if there's any, like I said, openings you can get me, I'm looking. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna say no deal to this guy, cause like, uh, like as we all know, you never trust another man. The books, it's not freelance work, lol. That's fine. I'm saying right now I'm a freelancer because I don't work on the books and I only make income off of things I sell, off of my merchandise and the content that I, uh, you know. So. The content I promote and the merchandise I sell. You're a pretty enough gal. So I don't really want to be freelancer. I'm not a freelancer by choice, Sean. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like I'm, I'm a freelancer right now, but I don't want to be. Fuck no. It sucks. Being a freelancer is horrible. You don't make any income. It's hard to make income. Mind if I see that coin of yours? But if you can get me an on the books regular gig, that'd be really nice. But um, Rich time month with no zero tons about two k month with up three thousand eight hundred ish up to four k depends on how much okay. you get to make more. Right. Okay. So uh, I would have to talk to you then. Um. But um, I figured I was gonna meet up with you Tuesday. If you wanted to smoke or whatever, grab a drink or something. Cause like I said, I'm out of work, but I'm looking. Like I'm out of on the book work. The IRS, as far as they're concerned, I mean, yeah, I'm still working technically, but like I said, freelancing. The IRS only recognizes it because you know, you, if you make over a certain amount, they fucking be like, oh, IRS, go fuck yourselves, man. You, you know I'm not working, you assholes. Can't believe that they think I'm working because I've of the book. Been here almost a year so far. Well, I mean, you got me psyched into meeting up with you now, but but I still want to see how you've been, though. I mean, haven't seen you in a while. But yeah, then uh, this gives me something to talk to you about, too, because uh, I don't know what it is. What is it, labor? What kind of job is it? I mean, I have experience in all kinds of shit, but what is it? So, what kind of mischief you looking to get up to tonight? Exactly, what kind of mischief is it? What kind of job is it? 
Women I'm, need the time, chill pill workers, decent health care, paid time off, paid vacation, pay raises, 401k. It's oh, security nice. Oh, cool, yeah, and I have prior experience, too. I actually have a, um, expired, um, you know, I have, um, a license. <laughs> so, it's the unarmed license, though, but... I, if I had gotten serious with it, I probably would go for the arm license, but that's only if I decided to pursue it, you know? Alright, now the third one is, I believe, a, a girl who I would definitely DTF. But she's, where is she? Where is that DTF Lulu girl? Which is another, again, like a FF10. It's so ironic how Lulu makes her appearance, or well, I should say Lulu's sisters make her appearance now, in about five seconds. There are just so many, so many abstract connections to this and Final Fantasy X. It's just like, it's hard to deny it. It really is. They're so fucking similar, these two games. Ten. Fucking ten. Final Fantasy Ten. The Brotherhood. I mean, I, even in like the way the game is designed, I can't think of any other game that was really structured like Ten. Other than this game here, I mean... It, I do, yes. To which we will need to work here. Yeah, it's I do have the license. I have the... So you need to go. Yeah, I have the license, but it's... I do have to renew it, though. It's expired. But I got it. Yeah. In other words, I don't have to go and take the course again. I would have to just renew it, though. I do have to renew it. But I can do that. It's not a problem. But yeah, I have the license. I have the license. Um, And if I'm considered for the job and get hired, I'll just renew it. For like 20 bucks but that's only if they hire me you know if I get hired then yeah I renew it and take whatever courses that I would need to take in order to well um I guess hold the position <laughs> to obtain the position if there is any other you know further um schooling or necessary uh, license is necessary, you know, uh, I guess I would go and do that. Hold on. Coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Look, the doors are about to open. He's working right. He's working right now. Yeah, but he's not allowed to give anymore. But he said he might have a spot for me. So, so yeah, you know. All right. So anyway, yeah, let the cat just stay now. Just let him chill. Yeah. Yeah, my dad does say hi, by the way. But um, and hopefully, if you do have that, that spot, um, that would be really nice. Like I said, um, I could use it. <laughs> Um, but, and if you do that for me, Jesus, you're doing me a huge favor. You don't even know. Oh, you gotta shut this. Be ready to be wowed. Good evening. <laughs> Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market. The Honey Bee <laughs> Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Um, you mean girl, right? I hope to me. Because I don't think a guy is supposed to be with a guy, honestly. But, I mean, if they are, then I mean, it is what it is. But it's not normal. Definitely not normal. I don't think dicks go with dicks, bro. I really don't think they do. I mean, look, I bet a girlfriend she was bisexual. But, like, I'm just saying. I've realized and I've come to the realization that if everybody was... If everybody was homosexual, then the factoid is we would become extinct, and that is bad. 
Thus, thus, my conclusion is homosexuality is bad. It's a bad thing. It's no good because it will lead. It will lead into extinction. And when I realized this, when I realized this, I realized, yeah, I am actually, I am anti-gay because it's going to lead to our downfall. Like. Uh, if you have a kid, then yeah, I guess you could be homosexual, and sure, but you have to have a kid. Because if you don't, then you can't be gay. You haven't earned that right yet. In order to be a gay guy, you have to have kids first. Then you can be gay. Because you've fulfilled your obligation. But you can't be gay until you fuulfill the right to be gay. I know it sounds silly, but it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Usually it's a mental disorder, but I'm just being silly because I'm a comedian type. But yeah, when you've earned the right to say, I can be gay, then you can be gay. But I don't want to see any gay guys, you know, prancing around saying, hey, oh, look at me. I'm like, you know, I'm like, well, that's exactly why drug addicts don't prance around saying, hey, look at me, look at me. Because it's not a something you, it's not supposed to be proud. You're not supposed to be proud of being a drug addict. You want to clean that up. You don't want to be proud of being gay. That's a mental disorder, dude. You got to get that fucking shit fixed, man. It's not healthy. I don't care what anybody says. It's just sick, man. You like sucking dicks? You weirdo. I mean, no offense, it's fucking weird, it's freaky, my, my cousin is he gay, and honestly, if we're gonna say that drug addicts are freaks and we're not gonna call gay people freaks, well then no, fuck you, I say we're all normal or we're all freaks, and I say we're all normal, basically, or we're all freaks. So, that's the way I look at it. So don't fucking, you know, discriminate someone who's a drug addict or discriminate a gay guy, you know, if you are going to discriminate, then discriminate all ends, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, um, if I were with you, you'd probably be able to put me in my place or where I needed to be put, but you know what I'm talking about, Sean. Like, the motherfucking gay guys are going around showing it on commercials like, BE GAY! BE GAY! BE GAY, MOTHERFUCKER, BE GAY! Come on! It's like, even when we had our sexuality, it wasn't like that. It's like shoving it down my throat. Like, do I gotta see these two guys hugging and fucking and, like, oh my goodness. I mean, they're not doing that, but they may as well. It's not like I didn't sign up for this. It's not like I'm watching, you know, Oh Love from Green Day. Uh, I gave up on the love I had for her. She never loved me. That don't mean I will be into the same ass. Mmm, well... But you see what I mean, though? Like, it's different when I go to watch, like, a music video from Green Day, or... That's a completely different scenario as opposed to a commercial being aired about a drug that's promoting unsafe sex because people can't control themselves, and then they're showing me things like... Um, things like, um... Get... Blah 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 today. Why would I get tested? I first of all, I don't even partake in things like that that I would even need to You know press play like what the fuck? Jesus press play today. You want me to you're encouraging HIV activity? That's a little odd, but it's weird Yeah, I know no shit tell me about it aren't they they are right? It's crazy. It's like where is natural selection headed? It's yikes like it's really confusing from a guy to a guy, I'm telling you, it is really is weird. And from what I'm hearing from other guys, they agree. It's like things have been weird with girls lately. It's not just me. It, there's something going on with girls. Too many women these days play too many games in real life. <sighs> they don't know what they want. Is what it is. And a guy is trying to give them what they want, but they don't know what they want. They need to fucking figure it out. I think. Because we can't help them unless they don't figure it out. You know. If they don't know what they want, we'll never know what they're gonna. You know, we can't give them what they want. And a lot of girls have, a lot of guys. I guess, but you know what I mean. It seems more than likely guys seem to go through one marriage before they get. You know, sometimes it takes two. Like, in other words, don't expect it to get it on the first shot. You're most likely not. Or miserable marriage. That's the problem. And trust me, you don't want to be miserably married. So you're better off being a bachelor. So best of just like you said, divorcing until you you know. Right. That's how it's gonna be for me too, probably. Because we're you know, select few even know about us. And that's why we're very handcrafted. Only particular people get get the specialty of well, going for the specials, right? Because specials are handpicked. 
They're like stars. Not all of them are shooting. Like, we might be stars, me and you. We may have not been shooting stars, but not all... Not every, not every glitter, not all gold could be glitter, you know? Like in the song by Smash Mouth. You know? Like, yeah, not every single star is going to be a shooting star, but, you, like, I definitely know down deep I'm a star. But not every star can be a shooting one. Out of like a million stars, only one will shoot. I have to go to this bitch again now, but you know, uh, the problem is that I go to her once and then I go to her twice. Some things I just kind of wish they allowed me to go in my own order, you know? Like when I went to that girl before, I wish they would have just let me do that, as opposed to taking the narrated script. It's my only issue. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I wish there, there should never be a point in the game where I should feel constri- like, confined. I don't ever want to feel confined. Whilst, at the same time, like, in reality, you know, I want it to be real. I don't want to explain that. Real. Like, but taking the element of reality and sort of adding in a mathematical algorithm or tactical... Uh, design, I don't know. So to utilize girls, although they're, yeah, I know. They're what, you know, they're sort of what the, what males don't have, like kind of a forty percent of. Well, you know the difference between the two. Right? Well, they can't be treated like that significant other that they want to be treated like, because they are... They can't be, that's not... Um, yeah, but that's what they want. They want to be treated like a special kind of equivalent, you know? Like, they don't want to just be treated equal, they want to be treated like a special kind of equal. And I always say, like, okay, if that's the case, well then you're gonna have to d earn that. If you want to be treated with a special kind of equivalence, they have to be able to go down on me, and they gotta do things for me. Like, cause they're being treated like a special kind of equal. Which means, they're actually being treated higher than equal. So, they're being reverend. So, if they're being treated above me, then, uh, obviously this person must be servicing me, and... Anyway, I'm... I mean, there's gotta be a reason. Right. Yeah, but if she went down on me and did everything and all that, then it's fine. It's the agreement. She... But they don't, though. Good girl, I always said, is supposed to have faith in the man she with, but... That's just on my list of many things that a compatible mate would have. Have to have. She has to have confidence uh, in her actions, but most importantly, have faith in the man she's with. Oh, then it's not gonna, you know, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Never not gonna, it's never happening. If she doesn't go down, then that's a deal breaker for me. Unfortunately. That's why I said I am go I always tell a girl how, what to expect down there before we even get started. I always let her know, and I always tell her what to expect. And, because you can't really lie about it, inevitably she's going to, you know, so, you, so I just tell her, you know, um, and then let it go from there. I, you had a better experience doing it that way, let's put it that way. Anyway, um, do luxury course, I guess. <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. But it's not really a secret, though. I mean, <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved nobody, well you know. <laughs> um, First, this is all sexual innuendos. A generous coating for each and every one of your ritual deserving fingers. Let's yeah, see. but you'd need both hands. <laughs> anyway, um. Bad. Um, so, Madam M. Relax. You're making me more tense, so. <laughs> girls played games with me, made it seem like they wanted me, then let's meet up, bitches, make excuses, fuck out of age. But they're all just doing it. I don't care, dude, you know that? Like, I really don't care. Like, not, not like about you, about like these, like, girls who want to play games. 
I don't give a shit, man. You should celebrate the fact that you're a bachelor, you know? That's what my dad said to me. He said, if you're in your prime and you're a bachelor, you're a guy, then, like, honestly, you're, like, the most social thing that there could possibly be right now. You're the best thing that there is, so... You should be happy. Until you find the girl that's the one, then fuck it, bro. Don't bother. You're better off being a bachelor. You'll live longer, you'll be healthier, and you'll be more vital, you know what I mean? You'll live... Be younger, longer, he's better. Better off. In other words, it, my father, he told me, he was like, he's honest, he's like, it pays a toll on you being unhappily married. It's, it's, it's bad. The second best thing to being happily married is a bachelor best, basically. Right. So, don't feel bad. We are basically second to the best that there could possibly be. Third place, they say, obviously, woman, single. Um, then, man, single. Then, happily married. Obviously, at the top. But... The bottom is miserably married. <laughs> That's the worst. I'm in a weird predicament because I'm an only child. I only had like a weird half sister and she's not really there for me. And she's my sister. Fuck her. You how shitty women became. You tell me about it. Used to be more willing to be real. Yeah, they're not loyal at all. But they don't have any loyal. I can't say, Sean, because of this is a stream and all. Uh, from the things that I say, I can't say that all women are... Luckily, they can't hear what you're saying, so... But I can't say that all females... I just can't. Um, but I know your frustration, 100%. I feel you. Um, but just because it's public, um, I can't defend. Uh, so, you know, a group of... Uh, well, you know, but, um, but yeah, I understand your frustrations. I've had my own personal frustrations, as I'm, because I'm a male. And with other females, um, but I don't want to believe that that's true. What you said about that, but I mean, just keep looking, you know, until you maybe find that one, you know. Because if that's true, what you're saying, that means that there's no hope for us. We're fucked. So I don't want to think that, but you know, I'll just keep looking, you know. Anyway, um. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. Like, I definitely <laughs> think there's gotta be good girls, like, there. I do. Okay. That's what I do. Really? That's what I'm doing what? now. I know, I mean, I started looking this. again, but... Huh? So, it's all. They get a look, and that's it. Some of them Don't get, them maybe. Well, now they're seeing that, is but... something wrong with my outfit? Yeah, it's too plain. What does it matter what I think? It really should matter what I think, but honestly, it's all right. It's not. Well, I think it's pretty cool. I don't, because well, you don't really have any. Take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, I don't know. Stop. She's too similar so, to me personally. That girl. I match up better with the other girl. You just leave that to me. Not her. I you in a dress so fabulous. You look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. You sure? The, she's That's like a I big, said. big chested girl. But don't worry. It's obvious. She just, I don't know. She seems to so match up well with me. I have an idea. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Personality, I guess, and physical. When you think, when you're thinking about procreation-wise, then yeah, probably. Although Cloud does have the, the blonde hair over me, which sucks. But I have green eyes like Cloud, so the only thing he has going from over me is the blonde hair. But I have, I have a uh, dirty brown. And my look isn't that far off from Cloud. That's kind of what a. I look like kind of like one of those guys. I mean, it's like an Irish, Irish, European looking guy. Not very far off from that kind of look, you know? Very Nordic, fair skin, so therefore, I guess that's another problem too, is that me and Tifa both have fair skin. On the lighter side. Not. Anyway, um, so we gotta do this favor, but we're gonna let Aerith be for a little while, and then we're gonna take out these stupid bumpkins again. By slash him in the face with what appears to be 
a walking penis, which is his shaft. Think we can win it all? Which is the That's iron blade. <laughs> walk, 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 walk. I always think of Cloud as a walking penis. Ha ha ha! Get it? Get it? <laughs> oh my god! It's a walking buddy. Don't get too cocky. Well, I am. Could he? How could he not be? He's a walking cock, bro. Like I just said, he's a walking, talking cock. I just said it. And then, what did she do? Five seconds later, she repeats it. Yeah, exactly. Don't get too cocky. Mr. Walking, talking cock. That's what I am, a walking, talking cock. I am like a human penis. Look at me. Do I look like a human, human penis? You remember the human centipede? Well, I'm the human penis. Human shaft. Human shaft and balls. Human testipede. The <laughs> human testicles. Human testicles. Human testicles. I mean, he does like kind of look like a shaft. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. It's so fucking funny. Cause he is. He looks like a shaft, bro. It's like a big pee pee. It's like a wee wee. Hey, someone has an erection right now. I know who. It's that cloud base, isn't it? You mean that bush? No, the cloud. The ball sack? The cloud. The strife. You mean the shaft? Strife. Shaft. Strife. Shaft. Strife. You know, the guy with the big buster blade. A yeah, big monster cock. Buster blade. Monster cock. Buster blade. Monster cock. No, I said buster blade. I said monster cock. No, I'm talking about his... His bastard sword. And I'm talking about his big ass dick. <laughs> no, but for real, I was just joking. He is sort of like a... If a dick was something you can kill somebody with, I guess that's what a sword is, right? A deadly dick. Or a gun. That's a deadly dick. What's this? <laughs> yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. Alright, so it's gonna get really, really wild in a second. So, just like I said, to have everything preset. And because I'm an FF connoisseur and, um, like I said, a Generation 1 player, um, I know all there is to know about Final Fantasy, and um, I can tell you right now, you're gonna need yourself a hard black mage for this. Well, you don't need to, but it's always, it's probably the proper way to go about it, is going, and, uh, roughly having Aerith serve as your black mage. Just trying to focus. And then, Cloud should probably be a tanking role, other than, you know. All right, no diggity doubt. We're still gonna meet up on Tuesday. We'll talk later tonight, but um, but yeah, I'm gonna be covering this uh, Hell House. If you're gonna stick around at lunch, you're in for a treat. Well, only because this fight's gonna be dope. It's gonna be a whole fucking spectacle with scotch and cotch. But enjoy your lunch break, man. But yeah, we're about to fight this mad, crazy. You'll see. You know, if you if you're gonna stick in, but but yeah, this thing's gonna be wild. It's going to be a whole big uh, tournament. And have a good lunch, man. Enjoy whatever it is you're having for lunch. I haven't even decided what I'm going to have yet. Right now I'm just having pretzels. You know, it's like um, soft pretzels you heat up. Soft the pro um, pretzel sticks. I'm eating those right now. Um... I love these two, bro. Scotch and Koch. No, oh, I wish. Gotta love Koch, man. Tomahawk. Long waiting. Keep your eyes glued to the action. Damn. What a spectacle. Yo, honestly, though, the PS5 does look really good. Like... I'll admit that VR would be definitely the next step forward because you can't make anything look better than it does now on, on you know, on monitors. But like, you know, anything better than it is almost like futile at this point. But still, um, like if there is anything else at its apex, it's got to be these new, newer platforms. 
PS5, um, the Switch, but however, it's only on the main screen. Now, I don't know if this is an illusion or what it is, but the OLED main screen Switch, OLED Switch, looks fucking fantastic. And I, like, it doesn't look the same, though, on the OLED screen, but, like, TV, you know, it's like, I don't know. It's like, if a size, scaling it down makes it look smoother to some degree. Probably does. Anything scaled down actually makes it look nicer or smoother because the eye can't see it. You too. Wait here until it's time. And my TV's not huge. It's like normal. I think it's like 44 by 43. Something. It's not that big. Normal. Almost like monitor size. Like a big fucking monitor, I guess. It's not huge. It's like 42 by 44 or something. Something like that. Modest, but not crazy big. Not the size like I have in my living room. It's like the size you'd expect in a bedroom. You know? 40 something by 40. Something. Was it 42 yeah. by 44? What happened to your face? I don't remember, man. Something like scratch, that. You know? It was like an so inch smaller than the other one I had, but this was an OLED one, so. I hope you guys realize and the other one ghosted on me. That's how I broke. That's how, I that's how it went on me. This guy got his ass kicked, man. Told you he was a beta bitch. Man. He probably tried to take steroids, too, like a typical beta bitch. Oh, Please man, I feel so bad for him. Man, you never needed roids. You just needed the roids for the games, man. He shouldn't have ran to the steroids, though. He should have waited. It's like, you know, felt the field out first, then go to the roids. It's like you said earlier. You know, after you've mastered something, then you have to roid it up to make it even better. He just didn't even get there, and he just kind of jumped the gun. Look at him, he's a mess. He took the roids without even actually practicing first. Like, dude, are you an idiot? I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna drink it. Ooh, it's not that simple, pal. Wait, you didn't drink it? It's yours if you want. I'm not drinking that shit, no. I don't need that shit, fuck that. I don't, I don't need any of that. Honestly, I'm good with a Red Bull. Or give me a Frappuccino with a double shot espresso. It's a diuretic, so it'll probably make me shit. But I'll be Gucci, but that's fine. One shit a day keeps the doctor away. Um, Put this beat in the first round? Well, not yet, because I gotta set my materia up. Yeah, soon you'll be kiss kissing my ass, bro, watch. Everybody's rooting for you. Swinging on my pole, baby bitch. The only pole you're swinging on is my dick. Watch, you'll see. They were gonna be like, boo. Alright, so whistle wind scarf. This gives you advantage because you get first strike off the bat, which gives you ATP boost. But only difference is your whistle wind can actually be stacked up with first strike. So that's what this whistle wind scarf is for. It pretty much just gives you ATP boost at the start of the encounter, meaning you get plus 50. ATP boost, that's what that means, ATP boost. Um, ATB boost means it doubles the amount of ATB you gain at the start of the beginning of the battle. So, means that you'll gain about half of an ATB bar upon the beginning of a battle. And with first strike equipped as well, you'll gain a, a large ATB boost, so you get a large ATB increase. I think it's one ATB boost. I think it's an ATB boost onset. Let me see. Yeah, ATP increase at start of battle. And because the other one is an, a boost, it's gonna actually have an effect because this is a scarf that gives you enter battle with a slightly filled ATB gauge. This is actually giving you pretty much the same thing as first strike, but just not as much. Because this will only give you, but it does manage to give you a two completely filled bars if you start with large and the whistle wind scarf together. You'll, you'll be able to start a solid fight with two ATBs. If you put this in with AT, uh, if you use ATB boost with it, it's a pocket itself. You can actually then perform like so many commands back to back. It's insane. Um, two, three. If you have skill mastery. That will activate another. So it's pretty. You just have to learn how to use these, right? I mean, <laughs> um, I've learned 
how this works. Uh, Skill Master is probably one of the fucking best pieces in the game because it'll house for a large ATB increase multiple times, which is the same thing that you get from First Strike, one of the best pieces of materia for your typical encounter. However, for your drawn out longer encounters, First Strike is not as useful because it only lurk, it only works once because it's only at the start, which can really limit its use for a long durated encounter like boss fights that prove that you'll need a lot more than just you know one ATP bar whereas these other ones will offer multiple uses like ATP stagger or provoke maybe not provoke but set this block is really important skill master and block are really really good because these are the ways to get extra ATBs from using commands That's why I really should start working on the next piece of Skill Master. And I would like to have a Cess, but I don't know if now's the time. Maybe just go with Magic Up. Fire, I don't want to have Elemental because there's really no reason for it. So I'll take Elemental off for now because I'm not going to even be using that. ATB stagger is going to be important because again it goes back to filling up our, you know, meter. First strike is good. Deadly dodge also has ATB boost to it. I don't know why they don't tell you that though. They don't though. They just don't tell you. They should tell you because you do get an ATB boost with deadly dodge. Then, I mean, if you want, we can hit two elements at once by way of... I mean, Blade Burst will always hit non-elemental damage, so there's no problem there. Um, the ATB assist will happen from using a back-to-back, -back, which, I mean, technically two Blade Bursts could work. ATB assist and ATB boost. When I feel like for a fact that it could work better for her to use it like that. Like I just personally know that it'll work better this way. That's why I'm also going to probably put in things like time on her. And then magnify, oh boy, fire, um, I mean, since we're going to be using the enemy skill materia, I feel like it does make sense to have fire, actually, on his elemented weapon of choice. Although we could end up targeting or end up absorbing one of those elements, but... You can't put in two of those, so there's no point in trying to do that. So the two most important for Cloud is healing and time. And then obviously Steadfast is a given. Skill, first strike, magic up is good if you're getting close to it. Or you could either go with that or luck, but because of my build with him, I'm gonna do that instead. 
I don't like ice the best, so probably gonna take a little ice or lightning. Or wind. Lightning is always good though, that's why I've always liked lightning. But generally when we're talking about these things here, um Algodora will take care of most of the damage we're looking for. Um however we're gonna need some consistent damage through spell, so revival, healing, ice. So I'm gonna do ice, fire, and lightning is gonna be done through yours truly. Ice, lightning, and fire. While healing everybody and of course reviving. Because that's what's necessary. And I'm also gonna give the magic up too. Because that's what's necessary. Mike Steel live streams Kai. <laughs> well, this is gonna be so fucking awesome. We're about to fight this boss. I love this guy too. He's so much fun. He's a blast. I just like things to look nice, so. Ugh. ATV boost. It seems like something that she could probably use. Because her magic is relatively good regardless how you look at it. Mm. ATB boost is nice and he has his revival, right? The three most important. Perfect. Ice is fucking useless though. We don't really need that shit, bro. We don't, not really. We probably don't even need... And the reason why I say that is because... I mean, a revival is all you really need. Once you have a rise, what, else, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Just make sure each one has revival and you should be fine, I would think. Watch, I'm gonna wreck face, bro. Just gonna destroy Get them all. Ready. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Ready to do it. To get yourselves killed. Oh, watch me. I'm gonna kill them all. They're the ones probably have to watch not to get killed. Because I'm just gonna wreck it. You won't know how I'll do it, but I'm just gonna do it. Like, watch. Sometimes people wish they could do what I do. And sometimes I say to myself, how do I do what I do? I don't know. It's magic. What I do with these hands is magic, man. These hands are made for making. Fuck you! You're gonna suck on my pole in about five seconds, you douche. No offense to any listeners out there, but now I'm mad, bro. One of Shaolin's very own motherfucking kids, motherfucker. Fuck you, bro! Yo, but you need to worry, yo. I've been roaming for the moment, so you're using my back, you to don't get so up that you've been thinking about the chimney. Don't get lonely now. Dry your running eyes. Alright, here we go, we got this beast master guy. No, mm hmm. So, bop, 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 bop. <laughs> yeah, well, this man is a pushover, dude. <laughs> Woo! 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 Dude, I'm doing it over here. It's crazy what I do. are done so what I like to call blade burst I like to call that the cat's claw bro and the reason why I call it the cat's claw is because it basically is exactly that it is the talent of a cat's claw 
And yeah, you could call it the Phoenix, I guess. But whatever. Phoenix or the Cat's Claw, um, uh, Talon of the Hawk, I guess. What, whatever you want to call it. It's basically that, though. It's the Cat's Claw. That's why Blade Burst is the jizz, bro. It's the jizz. Infinity's End sucks dick. Sorry. It's only good on something that's staggered, and it's gonna be staggered for a while. What's wrong? Cause it's wind up takes way too long. No, they have anything. You could you could fight anything here, like any kind of monsters. It's so not just man on man. Not so fast food. I feel you, bro. That fucking quickie, <laughs> that quick, bad shit, but tastes good. But tastes good and convenient. Let's just call it convenience. Your match will begin food of convenience, not of health, but of taste bud. <laughs> but of the tongue, bro. But of yeah, it's like. You know, the fruit of pleasure. Not, you know, like, um, not of what we need, but what of, of what we want. Let's call it pleasures of the flesh, shall we? And pleasures That's of the fruit. <laughs> of the fruit. <laughs> match, ready to rock. Oh, I'm always ready to Just go, remember. bro. I got revive on both my characters, so I, I'm ready to die and give a give moment, a moment's notice of this down me. But I'll be back. Because you know when I'll be coming around, bro. As I said, don't get lonely now. It's me that's out on the prowl. Fuck off, asshole. I swear to God, I'd like to see that guy talk to me like that in real life. I would, I would wreck him, bro. I would fucking savage his face, bro. He wouldn't even dare, bro. He wouldn't dare. He wouldn't dare. He'd step the fuck off and immediately, immediately, just like he just wouldn't. I dare him to do it. With my temper, I don't even care if I lose the fight. <laughs> I don't care. You aren't gonna speak to me that way, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not gonna get crazy, but but yeah, I don't know you. Gotta have respect, man. If I ever see anybody like treating my friends wrong or treating me wrong, oh man, they'll unleash a beast they don't want to see. Trust me, those kids in Great Kills did that to me once, and I fucking whipped their little fucking asshole. One. Them anymore? I don't give a shit. It's just. I don't know what the initial issue is with with me that they had. Some I'm actually friends with now, so like I, I was actually friendly with because it was a misunderstanding with some of them. But Casper, I'm cool with him now. And, but I don't even know what the initial issue is. I said anybody who has a daughter or whatever at your age and stuff, I'm like, dude, you're the one who has the issue, not me. Like I don't want to fight you, bro. I'm fucking a man. Why would I want to fight you? We're not in high school. I mean, shouldn't you be taking care of your shit? I mean, I'm not the one with the kid. <laughs> I almost had a kid, but I didn't, um, we decided not to have one, so. Long story short, I don't have a kid, so. I have an excuse as to why I'm out smoking with younger kids, but I don't know why he was. And then he beat me, tried to beat me up because they all failed. Don't, don't ask me how ten guys on one, how they failed, but. Yeah, ten guys couldn't manage to even get a fucking scratch on me. I mean, damn. And they were like hitting it full force. They just weren't good. Guess they weren't strong enough. I don't know. I mean, I practice stamina training, so. But I guess they just weren't expecting that. You know, they just said like, "This guy's an easy going guy. He's a pussy. Let's fuck him." And then when they realized, like, well. Wait, the guy's not a pussy, because now he's coming after us, like, one by one, and it's not discriminating. Uh-oh. He's winning now. Oh, and this is not good. Uh-oh. He's broken one of my friend's arms. Uh-oh. He's still coming at me. Uh-oh. Now we gotta do something. Uh-oh. Let's punch him in the face for no reason. Uh-oh. Still not ending. Well, don't open a can of worms. You're not gonna want to finish. <laughs> I got into so many issues as a younger kid. Physically, violence and stuff. Uh, the only thing around here. 
I mean, I don't want to get involved in violence ever again. Fuck, don't, just don't get violent, is all you don't want. That's one thing you'll never want, because I regret ever getting violent with people. Not if it's for protecting, like, you know, somebody, but the things I've done were so stupid. Like, my name will forever be begrudged for what I did. Like, you know, um, beating this, I don't even want to talk about it, um, but I can't get rid of those things. I mean, I feel like I could possibly be entitled to something, but I'm not going to talk about that right now. Wait, I don't think there's a point in having a battle on there, I realize, I just realized that. Because we can't make the most use of it. Get fired up. That's what I love about fire, is its area damage, it's got good spread. Yeah, because we can't auto-raise in this game. You jittery? Why don't you lead the way? Do to me, Let's that could be a up. problem. It's your turn. Hang back. Get him. Come on. Take the lead. I'll show you what I can do. That's so funny when counter stance fails, he just does shit like it's crazy. Good, I think. Ah, I failed again. That sucks. I hate when that happens. It never is cool when it fails. But he'll be dead in like a second. Let's watch. Be like... Bye-bye. I don't ever panic though when I'm in the red. Like again, like when I'm in a fight, I don't panic. It's weird. It's like you would think 10 guys would be able to beat the shit out of one guy, but not me. I walked out scratchless. Like mint. Like... Is this guy really made of steel? No, I assure you I'm not because I have fucking psoriatic arthritis and my dad has osteoarthritis. So, no, I'm not made of steel. But I did withstand 10 guys beating the shit out of me. Not 10, I think it was like, I don't know, it was Cass? Contenders, please return to your Like four, five, six, I guess? Six guys? What can I say? I'm the man of steel. I did give him a massage. Exactly. His but yeah, to me it's not about winning the fight. This has nothing to do with that. It's more about like the anger I go through when um and it's not good actually, it's bad. Having um, an anger issue is problematic for me. So many ways. One of these days you But I do have an anger issue. Now my friends though, it seems to be more like interpersonal with family and stuff, but but yeah, I guess with strangers also. That is one mistake I will never But I'm also I'm very protective. So things that can get me angry could be like seeing my friend getting picked on. Like a ball and I and I'd be like, Hey, what the fuck are you doing, man? Like if a friend is doing something to another friend that I think is wrong, I might say something to him. And say, pull him to the side, maybe. But you know, we've made and say, you know, that's something sure we shouldn't mention because of all. Well, but, anyway, we should heal our HP instead of wasting MP, right? Just use the bench. I say you heal kind of in the hard mode, right? Just use the bench. It's all leading up to the Hell House, but we do have to refine materia slotting to keep ourselves protected. First of all, I realize there's no sense in having a revive on um, auto multi. Uh, there's no need to magnify revive because what's the sense? So I'll only magnify the healing. But then I feel to myself, well, then we only have one person who doesn't have revive. If we take the magic up, then we'll afford it. But then we lose a lot of damage in that magic department, which we're really relying on. Now remember, first strike is only a one-time diggy. ATV boost isn't. Skill master isn't, ATB assist isn't. And we gotta think about things that are used for other teammates as well. And just healing, right?
Cause these clouds gonna constantly be dishing out ice damage, constantly. And wind, while also dishing out ice. So I don't want Aerith to be covering these two elements. And What's therefore the she's not. Fast food? Uh, the best fast food of burgers, like, right now? Shit, I mean, fast food? Or like, a fancy denim and denim joint, like, um, because if you're talking about that, then I'd say fucking like, Baskin, Rob, like, I don't know, Red Robin, or some shit. But if you're talking about like real fast food, then I guess, Wendy's, McDonald's, and Burger King, right? Those are the three. Um, unless you're talking about Sonics. But I don't, I mean, we don't have a college junior out here. But, but Wendy's is good, McDonald's is good, and Burger King is good. Depending on what you're in the mood for. Personally, I mean, advertising, advertisement wise, McDonald's is geared more towards colored people, but I mean, that's just a fact. It's not really any new, it's nothing new. We all knew that. Maybe you didn't know that, but it's true, it's a fact. Almost all the commercials exclusively have just black people so <laughs> um some DQ. oh dairy i mean that's nice you don't see many of those around not not a bad choice i usually usually get that when i go upstate in walk hill or whatever or if i'm going into the city they got one but they have a fucking um what is it i they have a dq they opened up in the um ferry department the place is actually pretty lit i went there a few times well like i said when i'm going into the city All right, ATB boost. It's all about like learning. I remember, like in this game, it's about monitoring your the way you use. First strike is not sustainable. It's not sustainable at all. How is that sustainable? First strike. It just gives me one. It's a one-time use, and that's it. That means it's a wasted slot once. Once you see the one ability, uh, see that word first. That's when you already know it's too late. Because it's first. Very queer indeed. Right. Very queer. It is very queer, I'll agree. Oh, I know you meant to say Dairy Queen, but, but like, it is very queer. It's very queer they would do that. I know. Even though that's not what it was pertaining to, but it is very queer. Very queer that first strike materia is one of the first and best options, but yes, it's also the last choice that you would choose. Because it's the most useful and useless piece. Useful in short encounters. Useless in long. Where skill master is the best. Need to be assist all blow is also really good. Set the S block is also fucking awesome good. I mean some of these are almost unfair advantage. Like skill master allows you to get a large ATB increase, which again will fill up about 75% of your ATB meter, basically filling you up an entire charge. Every time you use three commands. No matter what, so long as there are three different commands. So you use an ability, you, you use ATB boost, and then you proc off like, I don't know, a deadly dodge, and then you use an enemy skill, bam. You get another free command, and then so on and so forth. You keep doing this. Adds up. Set fast block, this gives you ATB boost every time you get hit while you block. So it's a no-brainer that it reduces the damage you take and increases the ATB you gain. No-brainer. ATB assist. This is... Kind of fucking weird because they don't state it outright, but this is an ATB assist mechanic. I do feel like this would have been clearer if they decided to make it like, what the fuck is it? Is it ATB boost, ATB charge, or ATB what? What is it? Like, what's the terminology they were using? Like, apparently there's an, a boost to the ATB because the system runs around an ATB meter that charges as we, you know by time. Time, through default, will charge this meter. Please make your way to the gate. And I mean, like, so, therefore, um, it's gonna charge the meter up every second based off of the character's speed, you know? Things that can alternate it will be your speed, and, of course, for every second that goes by, and it, the damage that you take and the amount of damage you dish out. So, I'm surprised they didn't have a 
piece of materia that increased the amount of ATB gained upon hitting an attack. Like, for example, they have one that allows you to increase your guard. See, take less damage while getting a large ATB boost when guarding. They didn't have something though, like steadfast block. They should have also had um, true strike. If they had a true strike materia and a steadfast block materia, that would have been dope. They had first strike, but they didn't have a true strike. First strike is not really as good as steadfast block. I feel like maybe, like going back into the original, they could have maybe had something like double cut materia. Double cut materia should have probably been the yellow, I would say, a yellow cut, yellow type of uh, materia. And um, double cut be a yellow materia that pretty much will double the ATB charge on any um, well I mean you'd activate it like I guess ATB boost right so therefore during the duration of double cut all of your attacks will give you a yield of a hundred percent um, when delivering damage for the duration of, mm, I guess, different levels, so. So, in other words, if you get double cut, every single ability you use has ATB regain on it of half of what you have dished Chili out. Dogs and cheeseburgers. Similar to this, large ATB boost. Double cut should have allowed you to um, obtain a regain upon usage on your weapon abilities and just in general attacks. They, they could have taken many approaches, but upon activation of double cut, it would make it so that all of your physical attacks give you an ATB regain 100% that of normal. Well, plus 100%. The base. Making it right in line with Steadfast Block. So it would be like... Deliver... So it would be combination, right? You would have to activate it. Meaning, activating it... Like, I think ATB boost would make sense. So you use Double Cut. It would give you... Um... Grants ATB, I guess you'd say ATB boost on all attacks. All attacks are granted a small ATB boost. And then I guess this would have to last only for a certain amount of time. So I guess at its final level, use a double cut to have your attacks um, yield an ATB regain of 100% for the duration of 30 seconds. Starting off with 10 seconds and then it can on and so forth. Starts off with 10 seconds and eventually you'll get it to its next level which will be then 20 seconds then get it to its third level 40 seconds fifth level well fourth level I think would be 40 seconds fifth level I would say 60 seconds some shit like that but I would imagine they're gonna put a lot of this interesting stuff with these ideas like I had said into the next installment rebirth as for now all the mechanics that we've seen thusly are pretty tight and ATB boost is more or less kind of like double cut materia it's kind of like this sort of what it is it allows you to double up your partition and double it up it's kind of what that is that's why I don't know why they refer to ATB, ATB boost so often, because ATB boost is actually double cut material. Exactly what it is. Then we also had cover material in the original game, that's what Steadfast Block is very much similar to that. It's cover. Um, 
And then, uh, for some reason, there are some things that don't make any sense, but, um... I could only imagine that this was not an easy task by making this game. The skill maps and stuff is block are insanely unfair to most other pieces. ATB stagger is okay, but you have to work for it, so... This honestly is his best setup. Throw her in there with some really good poison and binding to put it to sleep. You'll be in good shape, man. Guarantee it. I think you could even bring out Bahamut, too. That's the good news. But I'm gonna bring the Choco Chick because I've never actually brought it out and I wanna see what it looks like. Alright, now that I'm ready to go, now I have a healer and that is Aerith because she's going to be kinda like my go to. But I still have Cloud as backup if I need to. Here we go. Man. You proved me it's the final map. I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Alright, this is gonna be a bullshit match, so don't worry about this. You might think this is the final match, but it's actually not the final match. This is just a bullshit match. This was sort of like the the penultimate match. Before the surprise before the actual finale. Yo, yo. This is the test your mic level. Yo, you're gonna see. This isn't even it, yo. It's gonna be soon when the Hell House comes out. The Hell House is gonna really test me. Cause that shit hits you with instant death and some crazy shit. Like the game is now finally getting in full swing. This is like the I, what I'd call the first official boss of the game during a main campaign. This is like the first wake up call. So imagine what it'll be like on hard mode. I can only imagine it's gonna send out little stuffed dolls that just wanna hit me with insta-death, like. But not Cuddy and Sweepy, they're little bitches. We got Delta Dick and Beta Bitch. Yeah, Delta Dick and Beta Bitch. More like cheating. More like Shelly Shelly down by the seashell. Suck my dick down by the seashore. Because I have a Snorlax and he saw more, so now you snore, so suck some more. Not. Alright, you know what to do. Yep. It's your turn. Take it over. 
Not to you call fucking shit up like a motherfucking badass motherfucker, bro. I mean, I could do even better than that, but I mean, <laughs> nothing. I feel like they don't even give me enough health points to make magic happen. That's why magic only seems to happen towards the end because I'm just, I'm just I'm too tight, man. That's why I said I'm gonna probably, I may even think about doing an item only playthrough on this game. <laughs> That's actually a form of hard mode. I mean, if you think about it, just items only. That's the like you do have to play it on normal, and you can't use anything but items. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh fucking, absolutely! But I didn't get to do the. I didn't do it yet. <laughs> it's coming out now. You would have thought that would have been the finale. That's not. That's not the finale. I hope the finale will actually be worthy of watching. One more match, See? What? And this one's actually the one that's actually good. Hold on just a Something we have not yet seen. His call, not mine. We haven't seen anything like this yet. Now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. <laughs> big tits, big tits, big tits! I love Big Tifa. Her name is so suitable for her, her chest. But you still have one fight left. She must be mean? the biggest in the all of Midgar. Show a little too much. People were placing hefty bets. Hefty much chest. You, can you mean chesty breast. Carneo's going to melt this for as much ah! as he <laughs> <laughs> can. I can't even do this too much. <gasps> oh my god. You're going to milk. I, oh my god. I just can't. I can't. Am I like... Psychic or Don't come on, you hear what you just said? You're gonna milk this, and you I'm like talking about scum sucking, sucking pieces of shit. Being, I mean, I, am I just like reading between the lines here, or am I just that good? But that's the way it is. But because there's mad sexual innuendos being tossed around all over the place. But if you win this match, Carneo will have to accept your victory. And why is that? And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one. <laughs> I sure hope so. Okay. So, to do this properly, the Hell House is going to be really hard. And it's going to be unlike anything you've ever encountered before. Obviously, you should know this if you are playing on hard mode, because you already played the game already, so you'll know what to expect. This thing is definitely going to be uh, quite the beast. I'm going to definitely need to know what you're doing. That's for, that's for sure. So, let me just take a hit of my vape. And get in the right headspace. <coughs> okay, so looks like we got an air. We, we, we decided the air is going to be our caster. Do we have the MP for it? She got a lot of MP, but it doesn't look like and she has about 50, 40, and we can usually get about one spell out. She's concentrating on what three elements. Then and she used... Wait till like 7 a.m. Mm. <laughs> nah, weekends I make an exception. Weekends and Thursdays. I usually always choose my days. But today's Sunday. Today's the best day to smoke because nothing's happening today. You can't do shit today. And what do you, can you do on a Sunday? Unless they're Jewish, I mean, a lot of things are closed on Sundays, that's the problem. So everything's stagnant. So, may as well smoke, but I know what you mean. Typically, if I had work, I'd be doing that instead. That's Does. I don't ever bring weed with me to work. Me neither. Like, when I go out for the day, I usually don't, I don't, uh... I don't smoke, because it's a waste of my money. Not that I couldn't function, I probably could, but the thing is, it's just not, it loses its specialty, you know, it's novelty. Like, you have to sort of give a break from it, no matter how you use it, or else it loses its specialty, and you waste it, you waste your money. You know, and they're not cheap, so the vape pens, those dibs, they're fucking, like, 50 bucks, so, 
if you want to get legitimate one. I wait and baked while playing Trials Rising while simultaneously tuning into the stream. Yeah, but I gotta make sure that the stream is good too, though, you know? Like, they can't even hear what you're saying, but I gotta make sure that it's done, because then I have to edit it if it's gonna stay up. Um, because I gotta make sure that... I'd, I wanna serve the game justice, because it's a good game. So long as we could see this boss it's fight. Like I'm chilling while at work. Pretty much, yeah. But I'm striving to get enough subscribers to get paid for content, but that's going to be rough. And I don't expect to get there anytime soon. But if it happens, that'd be awesome. But I'd probably be working at a full-time job sooner on the books before that even happens. But miracles happen, dude. You know, like, look at my Cuphead video. It blew up and went fucking viral like a motherfucker, bro. So don't say never, because it could happen, man. I mean, I was this close to becoming a celebrity. This close! Almost! If... If it... If it just were me instead of the fucking pop head, but... It was the pop head. <gasps> but it could have been me. I was almost... Almost. You know, you'd be surprised how far off you are, actually, from being famous. You realize, oh wow, I'm really not that far. Yeah, well, you're not. You're not. Don't sell yourself short, man. Because you, you are a star. Was right. Yep. Yep. I'm just saying, I hit magic with the, you know, it put me on the map. It put me on the map, like, you know, it was a lot of views. This is because it went viral. I don't know how it went viral. I just, like, I'll be honest with you, Sean. I kind of like, I took somebody's, um, I, I took a look at a successful video at the time because I was an early, you know, I was like a new content creator. And I was like, what made this guy's, why is this guy getting so many views on his Cuphead video? I could just, the only thing I could see that's drawing attention is the little Cuphead with the X'd out eyes. So then I said like, well, why don't I not, why don't I get a background? Like, uh, let me upload a draft as a, you know, as a pin. And put one up like that as well, and like do it even closer, like a, a, a do like an even close up. Then he had it, like go YouTube even closer. Pays people as long as one pay people subscribe. Yeah, and then there's like little tiny clicks. I know, but I'm not gonna part of those clicks. I'm just a regular guy who's trying to offer a Prima Games like experience for somebody, which means that you'll get the things that you need within this fucking within the steel play that. You'd probably be able to get within a Prima Guide's fucking, you know, like, walkthrough. Don't pay them. Don't pay Brady Games. Like, you Games or Prima Vista Games, because I can give you so much better advice. I mean, I will run circles around them any fucking day of the week. Bring me anybody who works at Prima Vista Games. It'll just be a fucking competition. It'll be a fucking pissing match, man. I mean, you're going to have two gaming experts who, I mean, no you offense. To cheese bowl the thumbnail like clickbait just like yep. every video. Yes, sir. But there's also, there's, but also, like, you know, there's also the algorithms, you know, you got to follow. Like, I mean, like, things that people search. For example, people don't search certain things. But I also wanted to make a name for myself, so I merged into Steel Play. So that people would know me. And I was separated from the rest of the masses, so that when you search Steel Play, I'll be the only thing that's going to come up now. I merged it from something more algorithm-based, which was more reachable to more sources, but wasn't as unique for me, which was We Play. And that came from a derived form of Let's Play. And this was all from an algorithm that was based on previous things in the past. So I decided, let me do a stream that we can do a play together. And then eventually in time, I will rebrand it to Steel Play. Once I get enough people to notice that there is a Wii Play existing. Um, because if I'm not promoting the content that I'm playing, then what the fuck am I doing? Especially if I'm not working right now on the books. I better be promoting my content. Because most people don't know what the fuck is good and what's bad these days. And I'm a, like a first generation gamer like you. So the direction of where games go, I, well, I better have a say in it as far as that goes. I mean, but as far as I know, we do have a big say in it.
Um, so I'll definitely continue to promote my games. And which ones are good will be the ones that are promoted. If a game is shitty, it's not going to be promoted. You will not see a game that's bad promoted on my channel. I don't, I don't promote bad games. There is not a single game on my channel that's bad. So that's another thing is you will know a game is good if I'm playing it. Don't play bad games. So, and I'm talking about like I grew up alongside games that are almost untoppable. You know, like Chrono Trigger and fucking the first Final Fantasy VII, but age like fucking shit. But it's a great game, still all the same. But I still look at this one as the definitive now, you know, because it basically is the same game. It really is. It's exactly the same materia system. It really. Anyway, so the Hell House. Uh, this is a little bit of an alternation from our original plan, right? But not to fear. Like Steel is here. So Cloud's gonna have to be your healer in this case scenario, and that's not a problem because he can keep himself sustainable with the HP absorption. Well, he throws out a little wind. Why wind and ice Tony's never hurts. Trigger sounds so familiar. One of the best games ever made, man. That's why, probably. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. It's, it's for the Super Nintendo. They made Chrono Trigger Chrono, and Chrono Cross. Like, it was before they even made the other Final Fantasy games. It's the team that made Final Fantasy, though, going forward. And the team that made this game. Chrono Trigger. They made Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy 3. Um, all of them. Earthbound. Earthbound was fucking cool, but I never actually finished it, but it's a cool game. Um... I think we're gonna be have the ATV boost, which doubles your fucking I've bar. Never played it, but I've definitely heard of it. Oh, it's yeah. You can play the phone version of it, which is Eden and the fucking cat in time, if you want. All right, this is the best way to look at your group, though. Honestly, in my opinion, just go to um. Let's go to uh, battle settings. Disorder. Do I want to have that set? Cause we're gonna need blade burst, maybe. Or wind damage, so uh, I'm thinking here. Self destruction is nice because that does massive damage. I got I know. I know what I'm gonna do. All right, we set. But I do want to allocate this a little differently. I like the way it looks better. That's why when I set it up like this. But I do like purple better than yellow, however, that just isn't the way it is, so. But when we look at the party, you get an overall idea of what each character is looking like. Whistle and Scarf, my first strike. ATV boost to double that up. And then, yikes, I heard this. Um, about 4, 15? Give or take. I'd say most of the juicier content, though, comes in the later part of the game, you know? That's being honest rune yeah yep rune yeah definitely rune take up the binding because we could probably just use a slow uh, because yeah it's fine I just do magnify on the healing because regeneration is more than enough Give her Carbo. Carbo is amazing. Carbo is a, and, and now that everybody has access to Carby, there's no reason not to have Carbo equipped. Carbo is exactly that. He's the carbs you need to get it through. Watching and he'll offer all that auto life and whatnot. Even than the ready to kick ass? I don't know. I mean, if you're ready to kick ass, this guy's gonna be quite the fucking doozy. Get ready for a spectacle, anymore, man. man. This guy's gonna you guys to kill, and he's gonna hit hard. I'm, I'm not kidding, like, he's gonna hit hard. He's gonna whip your ass. I don't know, he might whip my ass. We'll see how it goes. Remember, the, it's an action game, but it's not an action game? I don't know. The best way to put it is, it's an action, it's an ATB, it's like the ATB RPG system in real time. That's what it reminds me of. 15 is only good if you play it without using items. You have to use the no item challenge on 15. That is fun. That's actually, that's a fucking fun game. That's fun. 
you do a level cap with no items and you have to rely on rescue and things like first aid and shit like that and renew and all that or things like there are ways to heal without using items you'd either just use rescue first aid um renew regenerate lance it um and then there are other ones too expert first aid there's also uh, something that is a regeneration thing where gladio provides cover for noctis and that's sort of like regeneration so yeah he covers him with a shield offering regeneration real quick I like Prompt though, it's cool too. Piercer. It's just Not any old house. No, 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 no. This is like the first big boss of a game, man. The big, big, big guy. Yeah, yeah, motherfucker. You have had bang. I never had it before, but I just tried it for the first time. It's called Bang. It says it's got like super creatine drink. I'm like, okay, I don't know what this is. Tastes alright. I love that. I love that. I love that picture. That thumbnail you saw where you're standing there. I love that. All right, chair salvo. He's gonna start off with the element that he's using. So he got fire. So you could tell what the color he's got currently. You see, um, that's what I mean. That's what that's it. that's what you gotta do. You gotta make sure to get those out immediately. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up triple slash as opposed to blade burst. I think it's even wiser. Because we need to quickly dispatch those fucking little dolls before they hit you with the fucking na nasty stuff. So to do that, I'm going to go to the battle settings and uh, I'm going to switch that. I knew something was wrong, I just wasn't sure what it was. Yeah, so we're going to have to put in either self-destruct or we could do triple slash works too. Uh, it works as well. And because of this, it might not hurt to have... Uh, well... In this case... Hmm... I may have to say, fuck that for once I don't usually but in this case yeah cause in this case I'm thinking he'll be used to just use synerg well, synergy on poison and these are primary elements so revival is a necessary need Hmm, time, that's haste, right? But we need first strike. I really feel like we need first strike right now. Again, because it allows us to open up more... With more grace, I guess you'd say, and relevance. Now that we have that settled... Watching you guys ready to kick ass? I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I think. I hope. But I'm only using the three primary elements. I'm missing two. So. Here we go.
Okay, so I'm gonna probably do a haste spell on both. Alright, now, I, I want to be careful with how we do this, so... Like, key doodles! Make sure we get in and I, um... I'll get all out. Get ready. Here. Second phase is gonna go in now. Yeah, we may need to pray out, but we should be all right. We still have a, a one stop chance pull. We can just throw that out. We haven't pulled our stops out yet, but we can pull it out. In other words, every time you use stop, it'll be less effective. As to not abuse it, similar to the way Holy is done in FF14. You can't spam stun over and over and over, so probably better over all around with slow if it's a if it's effective, it might not be vulnerable to it. It's immunities we run through silent and slow. So meaning it leaves itself susceptible to silence and no not silence, I'm sorry. Sleep stop and uh, yeah, sleep and stop mainly I guess you're looking at. It. But also Berserk too. How does that work? Well, not how you would think, so. This thing is nasty though, I'll tell you that. Let's get this over. 
This is one long ass fight. No, I fucking know, man. Boosh! No, no, not now. You've got to be kidding me. No way. Not now. It's the worst time for that to happen, man. You gotta be shitting me. Alright, well, I can tell you one thing. On avoiding that, you just have to basically go into uh, counter stance. You can pretty much avoid the death. That's one good news. Or well, we could take the option in putting on. Um, I feel like it's a waste of slots if we do that, though. I think best off is to just uh, keep the better management on. Um, it's not the HP factor, because I expect people to fall, it's more about making sure that they both don't fall at the same time. Um, in which case, I definitely made a mistake there, so... Um... And Arise is one of the best spells I've ever made, so... Yeah. Um... And as much as I like Synergy Bio... It's only that. It's really good, though. Um, I think I would still prefer, um, um, let's see, first strike, because we want to start off the fight with two commands easy, right? Um, to keep his health up, though, a good way to do this is to proportion his HP absorb with the magic stat, remember. That's why I love magic up, because magic up will also dictate how much HP you'll be getting from your enemy skill, um, as much as the damage you'll be dishing out, so it helps in many ways. Revival as mood. You're right, that's not gonna do shit, but, um, the other thing will. Magic up. I mean, if you wanted to, you could bypass having revival, but then you have to make sure Cloud does not die. Because if he dies, you are fucked. Nice. So I think it's better altogether to do a magnified situation. And give him the time material instead of the ATV boost and giving her the ATV boost. With, um... Instead of revive, because she's more likely to fall anyway. Having her with the healing magnify and have him with time and revive. This is a better balance, I think. Although we do run the risk of not having two uh, revivers, again, you really then only have to keep your eye on one person, so it just makes things more bearable. But because of how important it is to keep our magic stat up on the high high, we're going to need probably the Mental Saber, I think, personally. It's because of how important magic is. Yep. I don't like to use HP up, so I'm not going with that. But I'm not going to use First Strike because Luck Up is better than First Strike. That's all I really need.
revival is good because I want to I want I want to have it balanced as well. We have one healer, one damage dealer. That makes sense to me. So that's the way I'll keep it. One heal be the healer. She'll be the damage dealer. So like on paper that should look something Watch, like. Yeah, I'm ready to go. I don't think we're going to be starting with first strike though. We're just going to be going in with healing. One healer, one one DPS. So here we go. Important to immediately. Alright, from there. He's going to open his door. Gotta be careful with those motherfucking tumberries. These things are nasty. Already forgotten. to the next phase now. I gotta smoke a bogey. It's disappointing. No. I really do like how the uh, encounters unfolded though in this game. Really like spectacles. I really enjoy them. Really cool. He's transforming into its true self. Alright now we gotta really be on our guard. Oh, fuck me. You willing to step up for us? Bring out Carby. Or Carbo. Knock our light, or oh, yeah, knock our light. That little bit more like it brings everybody back though, so it's kind of like... Yeah, that's nasty. What color is that? I don't even know. Yeah. 
you'll feel it soon. I hate after eating, I always get tired after I eat in the muffle of the day. What? Oh yeah! Housing shock! Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know what you're talking about. I know. Hey, stop! Yeah, that happens to me too, bro. Middle of the day, right? Or you just get worn out. Or a little spacey. I get spacey in the middle of the day. Uh, what are we, what are we, what element are we at? Uh, Blizzard, we gotta go with ice. No, we gotta go with wind, and I don't got wind, so... Just do a regular heavy bioga. Reapplying stop? This one's for you. There we go, baby! Then there's a cure over to Aerith. We know. Oh, uh, well, we knew she was gonna fall. You okay? He's gonna send out more of those minions in like a second, you know that, right? This thing is a fucking beast, bro. I need both people to have cure. I can't do this with one person with with revive. I need to have both. Because I don't see a point in using regeneration. This really doesn't. I got a better idea. Let's see if this works. Maybe I was wrong. If I can, maybe just. If I use the first strike to throw on the haste, then I can make it last long. I need to find a way to make that last longer. So that this way I can just keep uh, the ATBs charged up so I don't get stuck in a situation where I can't do shit and then those fucking things come out and kill me. So, let's find a way to make it extend. Healing, revival, skill, stead block. Alright, that's good. This puts a lot of the strain on the healing and it just kind of goes away, which is good. Because I don't really need that at the moment. I, I, I don't really need to be dealing with that. And Carbuncle is good for emergencies, so we'll keep them. <laughs> um, I didn't mean to do that. That's for ice damage, right? So... Because at any given time, we're going to be doing damage with that. So, I think it's probably best that we... Increase the amount of damage that's done with it. But you can't do it twice, because... The only thing that can actually dictate the amount of damage you're going to do with it is magic up. I would imagine. So that would mean we have to consider things like, let's see, lock up would be good, depending on how much, how high it's going to get. And if this is going to level up, then it'd be worth it. I think elemental is better though. With the wind. It seems to make sense to me, because then we're going to cover... Wind, right? Yeah, wind, and then we can cover ice and wind damage. So we don't need ice. 
We just need somebody to cover uh, lightning, fire, and wind. They well, yeah, wind, right? No, lightning. Yeah. Uh, I'll stick with the main elements, I guess. And then have the magnify healing. ATB boost. Yeah, that's good. I think, as far as I can tell you. Now, battle settings. Triple slash is set. Fleeting familiar is set. Radio judgment set. Okay, good. Everything is the way I want it to be. Perfect. Yeah, this guy is definitely not easy, bro. Step his luck. Um, and having both with that might not pay off to be that intuitively. And I do know the ones that you need in the skill master. Alright, we're good. Now we're set. Watching For real. I think I'm ready. This time I'm ready. Yeah, so I had to got? really... You really have to, like, redefine each character. Make sure that each one is playing their part. And understand each attack pattern, everything. Now, before we start getting crazy here, let's just throw out a regeneration on everybody before we do anything stupid. Then haste on cloud. God, man. Oh, no, you don't. Big bad Aerith is hopping, and she is pumping. But can she blow the hell house now? Um. Must have had one too 
Let the allure of hospitality prove to be too much! Bam, there we go. Now, move to Earth and use a fucking ray of judgment. Gotta go for it now. This is gonna switch its phase though and go into its real mode, so. It's sort of like pointless. I know, right? I know, that's what I'm saying to myself. It's like it's almost disappointing. We get so far that it's like they. Those goddamn dolls kill me every time. But it, it certainly is a worthy encounter, but it just goes to show you that it's not easy. On an average hit, it's 40% more than usual. Now, I don't want to use that unless I have to, so for now, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to reapply regeneration with what I have. Um... Here we go. Had to. What fucking? Get him! That's it! Looks like our couple is going another round of using the tank. Another barrage of chaos coming in hot, folks. Will this turn the tide again? Shit. Here we go, Carbuncle. Hopefully Carbuncle will throw out some heals that'll help out. That's all we can do right now. We're so close to like getting him down, it's just a matter of fucking... Watch, Diamond Dazzle should bring us back into the into the fray. This is the hard part, bro. Gotta heal first. It's keeping everybody in shape while this is going on. It's the hardest fucking part. Save with that healing wind. 
Don't let it wash over you. Restore you inside and out. Why didn't this fucking thing ever go, man? It's insane. Guys, off, bro. Lend me your strength. Thank you. <laughs> Don't you just want to grab your ball, folks? The strongest of the guys, and Michael would never let go. <laughs> Man, this is so hard, dude. You don't even know. God, this is like... I'd say... Bad. We're dead, bro. We're totally gonna die. We can't do this. We don't have any MP. We're dead. But I gotta get, I gotta go. Um, uh, I gotta get my shit together. I'm doing everything right. What are we up to? The second phase now, I guess. Hmm. My biggest problem is those ton berries. Um, I'm having an issue with them. So I may have to switch things up a little bit. Um, that's why I like to stream also, because then I can look at them afterwards. Hmm. Disorder is useful, but it's not always needed. Encounter scenario. So that's definitely useful. And we'll make regular use of Soul Drain whenever we can. But I was thinking maybe instead of this, we really could just use Frey, because Frey is good too. If I give him healing material, then we don't have to give this to her, we could just give her like Frey or something. I'm, I'm trying to switch things up a little bit here to change things, because I'm thinking maybe if I follow the elemental queuing and, and just go full mage with her. So lightning, fire, ice, everything. So I'm gonna that mean gonna have her with the chain bangle actually. And we only have one of them, so we'll give it to Eris and she's gonna be the bread and butter of this encounter. So ice step block. Lightning first strike. Well, first strike is like fire, really, so. And then. Then we have lightning, and then first strike. Skill mastery. Then I guess we also have to give her wind too. She's only going to be using offensive spells. Wind. And there's only four elements, right? There's lightning, ice, fire, and wind. They're on all other elements, so we're good. 
We magnify our healing material. This will give us regeneration and pretty pretty high heals if we just use cure and stick to level one spells. This should work. I would imagine so, yeah. I don't know why I had the survival vest on, though. That's another thing. What the fuck am I doing with that? Let's go with the platinum earrings. In here. Hmm? How many chapters long is Final Fantasy VII? Oh, 15. This is one long ass fight. It's just a hard ass fight. After eating, I always get tired after hard as fuck a fight. A hard it's as fuck hardest. fight. <laughs> That's what it is. It fights mad hard. It's one of the hardest fights in the game. Well, one of them, yeah. This one, this is one of the few really, really hard encounters of the game. This one, um, and there's a few other ones toward the end of the game. But this is one of the big ones. And yeah, I know what you're talking about. A sluggish feeling. Sucks. You gotta get that second win, man. Ooh, um... Oh, I'm gonna probably go with the champion belt. Defense of 80, magic, and you don't need a rune armlet, I don't think. You should have to go to Supreme, or probably the Cog. Or an Astral Cuff. That's like one of the best pieces of equipment in the fucking game, bro. I guess do what makes the most sense, Synergy. Because Synergy is insane. And I'm going to have to make use of um, Control. Because you can make use of anything that can bind its fucking ass, you know? So Bio is not... It's a really good spell, actually, Bio. If you have access to Bioga. When we clapping this house, house boss up. I'm about to. I'm, I'm getting the setup right now. I have to set it up nice because if I don't, I will die. This thing sends out dolls that insta kill you. You know what I mean? So, like, it's a matter of realistically not panicking in the face of death because characters will die. The thing is, it's a matter of realistically juggling who's going to take the fall because we can't have both of them falling. So, I have to make sure that I get some crowd control, you know? Um. Cloud could like ward out some death, but we're I'm about to go up against them soon. As soon as they finish this setup, I'm thinking to go with high defense so I could last longer. Cause it could be a long, it's a long ass encounter. You're right. Time is important. Revival be needed on both of them, I would imagine. Fire. Um, she needs all these elements though, the four main elements, and then heal everybody. Decide to have him use the one element, I guess. It's the one element he would use, but it just seems not. Yeah, I'd rather her just do one thing and him do one thing. So let him heal. Let him be the healer. Let her be the fucking DPS. That makes the most sense to me. Because healers don't have to do much, really, other than keep everybody up in top, sh you know, to top shape. So, I have him starting off with, unfortunately there's nothing like a ribbon that can protect against instant death, but he could use his counter stance to protect against it. But it's hard to see where it's coming from when you have three of them casting it. Also, things that inflict things like stop or slow and shit, I can't deal with all this crap. Um, Whistleman Scarf for first strike. ATB boost to double that. And at least you can then throw down haste and do whatever else you have to do. 
He gets poison for free for every time you get a command, so that's good. Aerith is loaded. Ugh, I've never tried this setup, but... I mean... It looks like it could work. But I'm gonna go with the cog just to be safe, because I don't trust this. I think I can get a better... I'm just more more used to this this way. So I go with my old reliable when in doubt. Alright, we're good. On paper it looks good, right? Battle settings, uh not battle settings, I'm sorry. Um material and equipment. No not nope, nope. Party, here we go. So Cloud we got with the twin stinger, cog bang over some wind scarf, and mythal rod chain bang over herm. Nobody's hitting any specific attribute. Bioga does heavy non-elemental damage, but he's predominant use for just healing mainly. And she's raising? That seems a little odd to me, but um, maybe I may want to switch those two. That's why I do this, because then I can take a look at what doesn't seem right to me. Time. Well, first of all, that's a little odd because it's just he's the healer I thought we would have established this he's healing so why the fuck does she have revive he has to have revive he's the healer this way the job is clear we know what we're doing here we go Revival and skill and time, healing, synergize poison for free poison. Leviathan, if he's gonna heal, then he's gonna be using a lot of MP, right? Because this thing does a lot of damage. But we have all the elements that we need, so we should be fine. I just, I don't know if I should put Revive on both or not. It would mean I have to take off something. But what? I guess the Ice Material could go, because that shit's slow as fuck, bro. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take off the Ice, because Ice isn't really, well... Well, I just don't want us to all die, it's a problem. I think instead of ATB boost, I think it sucks to have the sacrifice, but... It might be worth it. To get assess on, I think. It just makes more sense. I bet you things will go better too for it to have assess. Let me see something there. Revival, time, you know. And then inventory, let's take a look. Because I'm going to need assess this time around. This time around, you could actually assess the motherfucker. See what I'm doing. 
And then I can see what it's weak to, because that's the only thing I have to do. Fire, blizzard, thunder, wind, yep. So I'll just have her refocus is really good. I forgot about that. That's like really fucking good. And I would be willing to chance it if I had enough magic to make a difference too. That would actually help a lot. Because if I had enough magic to make a difference, then it would be a whole different story altogether. If he's going to be healing, then should she be rezzing? I need to find a balance between these three. I think Cloud should be assessing. If she's going to be the one dishing out most of the damage. She should be boosting. He doesn't need step his block twice though. What the fuck is he doing with that? I really, because I have her dedicated to one thing and one thing only. Not just getting damage out. But I was thinking about instead of the ATB boost to go with the prayer because she actually is pretty good when it comes to using that. Watching you guys fight, ready to pick ass. Right now, I think I'm ready, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All I know is I'm gonna get high as fuck now because. What time is it? 6.36? You're right, I should wait until 7 to do it. Fuck it, I'll wait till 7. But this time I'm gonna beat him. Here we go, I'm actually gonna take on the Hell House. What I highly recommend that you do... ...is that you have a mage. And that you're level 50 if you're doing this on hard mode. You might have to do a lot of trial and error like I'm doing right now. But I know one thing for sure. You need to make sure that you get rid of the Tunberries ASAP. Always make sure you have Assess so that you can see what it's weak to. You could also take a look at the window pane color and use the opposite opposing color. So if it's green, it'll be weak to lightning. If it's blue, it'll be weak to um, wind. If it's... White, it'll be weak to fire. If it's red, it'll be weak to ice. So on and so forth. So, that's the key here is matching up with the elements, more or less. It's susceptible to stop and sleep. But you do understand that what comes with stop and sleep, right, is that the more you use it, the less effective they are. And stop doesn't last very long, and the more you hit it, the quicker it runs off. So basically, stop is good time to reprieve, really. You can make use of sleep and stop just to keep it controlled to, to a degree. Triple slash, though, when it comes to those fucking tumberries, honestly. I don't think I have Cloud properly equipped though, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it probably should've went with the Iron Blade. I, I know I forgot, I know I fucked up. Cause this is a stats game man, this really is a stats game. Everybody knows that you should use the Iron Blade for this, I don't know what I was thinking. Of 
Let's get damage down quick, because we want to get damage down as soon as possible. Get rid of those things quick, and then upon doing so, let's make sure we get that motherfucking... I got ore out, I guess, right? If you have it. Oh, we didn't bring that. We brought a cess instead. Fine, assess the house. Alright, weakness, ice, throw down ice. No, damn it. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm telling you, we're, we're gonna we're gonna fuck him up this time, because he's gonna change his form. He's gonna start sending up the little minions again. But yeah, this time we'll be ready for his minions. It's just that this is a very long encounter, and now defense is going to play a very important part of everything. But not only that, but you got to have more than just defense. You got to have, like, a lot. Um, I'm not that worried about it. It's not a big deal. What do I have to do? Give out, um... Thunder, right? God damn! Healing win now! Okay, now, use fire on it now. Air on it now. Oh. 
Blizzard on fire, right? gotten this far yet like I said by doing this the right way we should be all right it's white so we're gonna use fire Valid bullshit. That's bullshit! So scary as fuck, man. Fuck me. I don't know what... You gotta shit me. No! Bob Uncle. I've been dying to see this is gonna turn into a mess of a fucking goddamn battlefield in a second. Think, Michael, think. What can you do? Um, the thing's gonna die in a matter of seconds, we just have to stay the course. God damn you! Stay away from her! Woo! 
God damn him! We almost got this though. A hard fought victory to be sure, but I did do it. I mean, you don't get to see that every day. Did I do it in the most style? I don't in the in the past, but I still follow the tried true formula. You know, I I did. I fucking did it, yo. It took me what? How many times did I die? I really hope I didn't die more than three times, that's all. I, I think I did, though, which means I fucking failed. But I followed the format. I fucked up. Oh, this is where I kind of... Okay. Good. Thank God, because I was like... I knew one time I was just a, a bust because I fucking... I had to uh, set my shortcuts up wrong. You, know, you, you need triple slash for when those dolls come out. Especially when the cutters come out. Because then you have cutters, then you might end up getting dolls and cutters. Like death dolls plus fucking cutters. So it's a lot of stuff going on, as you can see in that three part boss. There was a lot of shit going on. And as you can see, my goal is to try to get it done without dying. I try to look at it as three strikes and you're out, basically. I mean, more or less, I failed if I hadn't done it within two times. I try to do it in one time, really, that's my goal. To do it in the first shot, but, I mean, make mistakes, but... It's also what allows me to learn, but if I can't do it within two tries, then... Or at least three tries to the most, then I don't know what I'm doing. But I was trying to fill on the formula, I was like, Triple Slash will totally knock out those motherfucking dolls. If given the weapon was strong enough, but I feel like I downgraded the weapon. Oh no, okay. Yeah, well, I go with either 11 or 10, 10 and a half. Whatever feels more comfortable for me. What all am I right now? I'm gonna have to check. I'm doing 11. 11 or 10.5, I don't know. Right guy's favorite drug. I think they're like 11 in US, 10.5 in Europe, some shit. I don't know. I just get what fits. Usually that's anywhere from 10.5 to 11. Suddenly I have to take a piss. Anyway, um. I'm gonna finish smoking first, but but hey, look at that! Look, I always said there's something to it—the cog bangle. Doesn't that bangle look badass? By the way, it's just a fucking cool bangle. When you compare this bangle compared to the other ones, like I like that one the most. It's like one of the ones I like the most. It's probably that one. Your That's just dope. Is size 45. So I think this is the best one. Oh yeah. Which one do you like? I think that's the coolest one. Like, strongest one though, I think they say is this one. Or well, maybe this one? Highest defense wise? I don't know, it really depends on what's the best. This seems to give the most though in any given stat. 5 I like the most. The cog? Or the iron. This one? I really like the cog bangle. This one I like the best. Um, another good one is probably... Where's that other one? I can't fucking find it now. 
cooking chalice. Here it is. That's the one. I like that one. Or this one. The fourth. But... Still, the cog manga looks badass, though. This is nice. That's a bit nice. That's a good one. This one is basic. This is pretty cool. Because I used to see punk rockers rock those motherfucking things, you know? The stutter braces. Same thing with the gothic mangles. I would only see a motherfucking king wear that, bro. What is that for his elbow? Is that for his fucking knee, bro? Is that his knee pad over there? Got a knee pad? And what is this for a robot man? Is that something he puts on his head, like, to, like, calculate his fucking vision? Let me see what we got going on here today. You know, like, squeak, squeak, squeak. I'm just footing around, because I'm a machinist, and I got things to do. I'm tweaking away. Toodly -doo, toodly. Let me orate you to a new state of mind, because I'm a philosopher. That's the kind of guy I am. Always thinking, always doing. I'm like a cog, I'm a clock. Man does not all stop, ever forward do I think. And like a clock, does my cock ever ever go forward? And ever does it drop or go up? But it always goes back on one or the other. And when it goes up, it goes down. If it goes down, it goes up. And if it goes up, it goes down. If it gets big, it gets small. And if it goes big, it gets small. And if it's small, then it gets big. And the amount of time it takes in the amount of time it takes is what it said when Father Time said this is what well this is for all of you to take if it's Friday it's Monday it's Monday it's Thursday right so then that means it's just fucking Sunday so you may as well sit your ass up back on that fucking runway bitch Sunday, Monday. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go back to the Iron Blade. This is the one that looks like my penis. Oops. I mean the Iron Blade. It's Thursday for me this week. Mental Saber. Really? Well, I don't know your schedule. That assess really didn't do much, did it, huh? I'm off, gonna relax and rest up most the day. Also, you're chilling, man. Sound like kind of like your Thursday, TGA Friday, whatever. Off, actually. Oh. All right, cool. Then I can talk to you then about the position. You could brush me up on the details because I really have to. Gotta get something. I guess I made up. Oh. So, sooner they get back to me, or whoever gets back to me, or whatever, sooner I can. Super simple, realize. Oh, I'm gonna put this ATV boost back on him again, um, and then put this magnify. I really prefer magnify time, not so much the other thing. Steadfast and first strike are good, but I feel like they are the usefulness skill mastery. Skill mastery is great. And honestly, just learn how to do without the magic, I feel like, is the best way to go. I mean, the HP. Ultimately, you're trying to do as much damage as you possibly can, so... So I guess I'm thinking maybe do luck and then magic. It gives him 95 luck. And luck does coincide with magic attacks, so. Let's give him back the chain mangle because I just knew that Aerith needed it for that fight specifically. Time to start working on that other Only prayer material. Hardest days like this Sunday's doing 16 hour shifts. Not every time it's 16 hours. It's eight hour, hours man. Just be yeah. It's regular eight hours. One day I mean, I would do that. I do 10 hour shifts usually within the three day process, but whatever. But yeah, usually it's an eight hour thing. Usually it's eight hours five days a week, but 
but I prefer doing something different. Like, I don't mind doing 12 hour days, you know? Miss so I used to do 10 to 12 hours and just work three days, four days. As opposed to working five days and doing six to eight hours, you know? I would do 10 to 12, three, three, like three to four days a week. 16 HRS are brutal. Most hours yeah, are they, did, they did suck, yeah. HRS. They suck, the 12 plus days, yeah. I know, they're horrible. They love That's why I stopped doing it. I stopped. I was doing, um... I was doing party, um... You know, um... Grand Plaza... Party hall. And there was no end time, so... We would just work until the party would end so I'd have 12 hour shifts when we set up in the beginning of the day set up for the communion or whatever the fuck it was P16 and then you know it's the near area rang the place you've seen it it's a fucking wedding hall it's not mandatory overtime though it's on you to pick up overtime if you want it well, yeah, I mean, at the Grand Plaza, it was just the way the job worked. The job was either night shift or day shift. Um, you would just work until the end of the motherfucking party. But, I, I feel ya. Oh, where you work, the security. Um, it's a different line of work, so. Alright, that's, that's good to know. I mean, I can handle that. <laughs> I like prayer because it doesn't cost any MP and it um, pretty much recovers a lot of MP if you work on it the right way. I'm not going to keep it with all this bullshit material we don't need. It's not what I usually do. We have tons of things you should be working on. Like the elemental material is important. Enemy skill material. Like, how does each player... Uh, what's the word? How do they function? I used to work with a Jewish guy setting up Jewish kids parties back in my 20s fun times. Well, days, like days. yeah, well, I applied for the Kaufman uh, camp, JCC camp. So maybe I'll get hired by them. But I don't have a car I can use, so, you know, because my dad's using the car right now. I only have one car. Um, but... Don't think it should be a problem to be a counselor. They usually provide the cars and shit. Anyway, I just put in a note. And I was like, I went to camp there when I was a kid, so maybe I could work there as a counselor as an adult. Just put a thumbs up. This guy and, was the president of the synagogue. Oh. Oh. Oh, gotcha. I'm talking about a place in Great Kills, though, that I was working at. You know what is it? Near Ayerang. I don't know about where the place talking about though. The place I'm talking about is in is actually in Great Kills. Oh, uh, you definitely seen it. It's like right behind the fucking 24 hour in the Grand Delfino Deli. It's in that lot there. That's the place. Devin worked there. Remember Devin? He's so bud. He worked there. He did. Uh, he was doing um, carpool. For the Grand Plaza. Anyway, uh, what are we gonna equip her with, Aerith? Magic up. Yeah, that should definitely be worked on, I think. It's one of the best pieces. I think for my favorite pieces of material are probably first strike. He had his own businesses. Two businesses, one setting up parties, bar ATB assists. parties. Skill mess is good. Parties to for the Jewish common. This, this could really help you, especially for Aerith, because she's got that right of judgment. Oh. What's the name of the place?
The pizzeria was pizza dog pie. But, <laughs> fuck pizza pie. <laughs> the hell, why? What do you mean? Were you like fucking. Were you fudding a pizza pie? That opened mine, bro. Don't get me jealous over pizza, bro. You got me swimming in pizza pie over here, man. Why you got me doing this? You got so many large pizza pie. Why you giving me all this large pizza pie? Why don't you share the pizza pie? Give me some pizza pie. Can I assist you in your pizza pie? Let me bless your pizza pie. Can I give my balls on your pizza pie? <laughs> Can I stagger my wee wee on your pizza pie? Let me strike it true, baby. Now, um, I do know one thing though. Stead block is good, AP up is good, revive is good, magic up is good. We'll never not want to be working on this, so always be working on this and should be good. You don't want to double up on any of these because they don't work twice, so don't bother. We opened his business up well, we opened it up for him. Cleaned out DHR entire joint. Cleaned up DHR place, placed the chairs and tables. G. Elemental on cloud because it says a shitload of additional damage and then I always go with the default fire usually I mean if not let's go with something that needs to be leveled up then ice Double cut is ATP boost that's exactly what that is First strike is similar to double First cut. Took the tables and chairs from Brooklyn, then upstate drive like two HRS. Those were long days. Pause and then I could probably do that. Magic up. I really boys. I'm trying to work on the magic up. And yeah, it's weird because a lot of a lot of those camps are owned by um, former Jewish guys. I don't know why, but I guess they were into, those, into that thing. I mean, was, I actually went to those camps. They were good camps. Some good camps, man. Definitely. Wait, let's see what this is. Okay, and then... Because I need to work on the other elemental also. Wow. Just got a lot of shit to work on, man. And the only possible way to extend this further is to do that. That sucks, dick, bro. I mean, you don't have to, I guess, but you have to learn how to work I with it, I guess. Awkward place pimple on my lip. It's so small. Those smaller pimples are painful more than reg pimples. Chakra's good too, I guess, right? Yeah, I get them too. Every now and again, it happens. Well, I know what you're talking about. It happens to me all the time. I get it on my dick, bro. I cut my balls the other day. I always find high level spells, by the way, to be pointless. Because what's the point of using high level spells? If you, you can't recover your MP in the game, so you may as well just p try to get as strong as you possibly can from the lowest level spell. Also, now is a good chance to pick up a um, so, Madam M wanted me to give planet you a protection if you want. Says you guys did pretty damn good, and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also planet protection. I don't know if you know, but that gives you full immunity. What do you? 
Oh, you're on break? Are you on break there, John? No, I've just been having my phone on THR entire time since you went away. Ah, I gotcha. What do you do? You see, you security guard, huh? You get bored? Well, you just chill. You find ways to get to keep it like. I'd imagine you're a pretty creative guy. I'd imagine you find things to keep yourself busy with. Could get real boring depending what post I'm on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, cause let's face it, security guard jobs are not. Hmm, it's usually not. Cause they, we all know the truth behind that. We know that they don't encourage you to stop them. <laughs> um, so it's a very like, uh, uh, boring job. Yeah. Unless you're working in sting operation with the cop and duty, it, it gets boring. So, yeah, what do you do? Play on your phone? I don't know, I'm just asking you. I guess it's like you said, Russian roulette, depending on the time you get. There's probably not much, right? It just gets boring, right? That's what I would imagine. Because you're not going to stop the potential thieves anyway. You can get fired, you can get fired, but you can get... Yeah, but you don't want to end up... Yeah, don't do it though, but because it's like, don't. I mean, do what you want to do, Sean? I'm just saying, like, my cousin got fired one time because somebody pressed charges on him for hurting him. And he was security guard at Century 21, and they fucking fired him for doing his job. Then when I went to security school, they told me, oh, yeah, you don't actually stop the fucking pursuer. You just kind of, like, are supposed to. Make sure to you antagonize them. And then, because I was like posing questions, I'm like, shouldn't a non-armed security guard have things like taser, mace? And then he's like going on about like, oh yeah, well again, it goes back to the fact that security guards aren't there to actually stop people. They're just there to just, I'm like, okay, so fucking stupid. And then I'm like, all right. So then we obviously have to find a way around that. It's gonna get boring real quick. So I guess my answer to you is, what do you do to, to, to kill the time? What is your... I'm sure you do stuff like... Probably shit like this, right? Watch other Jack people do stupid shit. Or you do stupid shit. <laughs> I, I can get it though, I get it. Cause like, there's not much else going on. You're really just a bodyguard and like, that's your job. So you're there to basically intimidate. I mean, that's kind of like, that's all you do. It's just to stand out. It's like, so you may as well just kill some time, burn a few bucks. If you have the data and just, you know, that's what I would do. <laughs> if I didn't have the data, then I'd probably run an emulator or some shit. I don't know. With the volume off though, of course. Can't have the volume on. I usually talk to coworkers. <laughs> go on my phone. Yeah, exactly. Talk to friends in my phone. Mm -hmm. Talk with girls if they're around and willing. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, man. I like it. I, I feel ya. Huh? You want to take me up on my offer now? Cool. Then I'll see you down below. Um. Yeah. Let's go get that plan of protection. Why didn't you tell me you guys were gonna kick so much ass? <laughs> Can I get your autographs? Oh, this will be fucking easy. Peasy peasy. So wait, Sean, you've had the gumbo? You've had the um, gumbo um, strain? You know I how tasty it is. Post few months ago, but I got paranoid doing it, so I stopped at smoking at work. Stop. But oh, I mean, I haven't stopped. I mean, I don't. I haven't been smoking weed, but I've been vaping the, um, you know, the dryer. Like, I mean, I feel like it's the same thing, really. It's a little different, I guess. But if it's a, 
If it's a Disto a 9, I don't see the difference for the Delta 9. I mean, maybe the delivery is a little different, but... But I stopped smoking the herb because... I don't know. I felt like the vaping was con more convenient if it was coming in Delta 9. I was just not liking it in Delta 8 because it wasn't making any sense. I was paying $39. Like, wait. I'm paying for Delta, Delta 8? Why am I paying for Delta 8? But it's not a Delta 8. It's got to be a Delta 9 for it to be normal, you know. If you want to get smoke regular weed from a vape pen, it's got to be normal. It's got to be the normal distal. It's got to be the normal terpenes in it. Terpenes, what do you call them? It's got to have the regular, regular strength, or else it's going to be half strength. Exactly, like you said. It's not really the same. <laughs> and I know there's a big difference between the two. Huge difference. Big, big difference. I mean. One is, I don't know. But, you know, I mean, the main reason though for me personally is that some people argue to say, oh, that the Delta 8 hits better when you vape it. And I'm like, dude, it's the same thing. Like, you're vaping the oil and you're basically kind of turning oil from dried herbs into a vapor. So, I mean, like, I don't know what you're talking about, Delta 8, it's just a less potent version of... Because you could get raw herb and get a Delta 8 raw herb too, they, they sell that. You just gotta be careful what you buy, and if you're smoking weed and you're like, this weed sucks. But that's probably because it's Delta 8, you idiot! <laughs> but I mean, like, people don't look at those things. But yeah, there's a lot of, like... Delta... And I don't want the Delta 8. Because that's not what I smoked back in high school. That's not what I bought off of my friends. That's not what I sold to my friends. It's not the stuff I used to. Delta 8. What the fuck is this shit? I mean, back then, the weed I, we had was so much stronger than the stuff they have these days. It's fucking nuts. There's no comparison, bro. Think day and night. I don't know what happened to the stuff that we used to have. But we had the fucking crazy shit, man. I feel like these kids these days gotta pick up their game, man. <laughs> That's what I feel like. I feel like I'm like I'm still kind of young myself, and I'm looking at them, and I'm like, man, these these things are soft, man. Like my our, our stuff back in the day, we had some hard stuff, man. Like our weed was fucking fire compared to your strains. Your strains are like garbage, man. I mean, we were like talking about comparison to things like Sour Kush and like Dro. Northern Lights, I mean, we had really good strains, powerful strains, I mean, some of the most powerful strains that you'll ever fucking find, even to this day, and some of them, all these homegrown, yes, we had the best strains, Train Rack, um, even some of the other ones, like, uh, we had, uh, didn't we also have, uh, we had, uh, we had all of those, Sour Diesel, uh, Murders, Kush, OG Kush, um, Sour Diesel, yep, OG Kush, and um, Purple Haze, Chocolate Haze, I had Chocolate Haze once, that shit was fucking fire, bro, and actually my friend, he was black too, he got it for me, that's a funny thing, he was my black friend, and he was like, he got it for me, and it's like, black kids actually had, like, if you were black, and I'm not saying this racist, he was my friend, black People, when black on black, they could get good shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like how white on white can get good shit. Like, I used to get good coke, my friend. Anyway, because I was friends with him, my, my friend Robert, um, he was black, and he got mad good weed. Weed I could never get my hands on otherwise. It's nuts. And uh, my other friend Skylar, we would get some craziest chocolate haze. You ever heard of that shit? It's like, literally, it was like brown, but it was like sweet, and like, tastes like chocolate. We could do high as a motherfucker. One did a woo banger one time with my friend, uh, um... Robert, my other friend Ryan, not Ryan, different Ryan, Ryan Adams, from high school, and we got blasted in the moon all that. The uh, weed was insanely strong, um, but yeah, it wasn't common. You would never see that stuff now. It was so dank, um, really sweet, 
must be heavy and indica, I go to guess, I'm imagining. Most haze was usually indica dominant. No? I mean, the debate is whether or not indica is the more... Yay, the chocolates, they called it. Mm-hmm. I had it yeah. from some kid in high school back then. The only... I was when I smoked that strain. Mm-hmm. You guys were about my age, too, but same here, 17, like 17. But you're like the same age, we're around the same age, so like, yeah, yeah. Like, it wasn't around for a long time, but when it was, it was when Haze was at an all-time high, and, like, it was good. It was good, you know, while it was living. Like, these days, from what I've heard, I mean, ones I look out for, like, the things like Skittles, I've heard of, uh, Strawberry Cough. At least from the modern day growers, you know? Because you're not going to find OG Kush or Sour Diesel on him. It's hard to find them. But you might be able to find Gorilla Glue or AK-47. Um, uh, you know, you just have to look to see what you can find. You know, a lot, of, a lot of different things. A lot of different strains now, too. Like Runts. Um... Gumbo is good. I didn't even know about Gumbo until I actually tried it in the vape, and I was like, yeah, this is lit. This is good. Skittles is good, too, if you can get Skittles. That's a good one. It smells good, and it's got a really nice indica that lasts. I think. Good balance of Tiva. Tastes really good. But it doesn't hit too quick. It's really nice. If you get, like, a premium net weight of it, you know? If you get like a premium net weight of 3.5 grams, something like that, you could probably get a nice jar. Some of the strains I get are like those old high school days. Mm hmm. Really? Man, you gotta let me smoke one of them. Because that's what I'm trying to get my hands on. <laughs> or because I just miss the old. the. you know, the OG weed. The OG cannabis. Old school cannabis. Stuff that I grew up on. Stuff that, like, I know would not be... <laughs> you would be able to tell, in other words, if you had ten strains and it was all, like, modern-day strains and, like, one was OG Kush. You know, you know which one the OG Kush is. You'll know a strain from 2009. If you put it in the middle of a bunch of 2020 strains, you'll know the motherfucking 29 strains. You'll know which one's so. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I mean, Captain Mon <laughs> uh, That's fucking funny. I can imagine you saying that would be so much more funny, though. Know? <laughs> As you say it with that, Sean's got to say that way. Got to say it like that, but... <laughs> Captain on the pants, stuff. But, yo, you know... Hey, been waiting for you. So. Let's, let's try to ace this shit. I just needed to get this one thing. It's really just so that I can get this planet's protection Let's shit. Honestly, we can do this on normal or classic or any that any challenge. I mean, for me, I feel like this is easy to get it done and get the ability. But I don't even know I have Aerith set up with. I just make sure she's good because she's gonna have to do this alone. I think, right? This is so that she can get uh, Planet's protection, which is a lot better than that healing wind garbage. Planet's protection offers you immunity to all physical damage for like 30 seconds. So it's pretty decent. I look at this as like shell and like shell and protect, right? Paste. It's like auto haste, kind of. This thing's pretty cool, though. People don't like its use, but it is actually pretty useful. <laughs> um, I think it's a good idea to probably get time. I think it's a good mix, is why. Magnify time magic. Then healing we already have, but uh, we can continue to work on the revival. O 
always have an elemental work done constantly. Then just put ice in there and we get to go. <laughs> You go, we're good. I think, right? Pretty much. But I'd rather just go with this real quick. Um, ATB boost because it makes more sense to have on so I can get more shit done, I guess. Okay, choose an opponent. Alright, this is just to get this ability, and then we will be done here. Okay. <laughs> Let's pick up the pace. Uh -huh. Okay. Very simple, easy, not hard. Gotta love Aerith. I mean, she's not my favorite, but she's alright. Get ready! Don't catch a cold! Sorry, but I gotta... Okay... Ba-boom! Nice yeah. try, douche. Here. That's it. And magic up, materia is improved. But yeah, it's got a lot of scary similarities if you played Final Fantasy X. Anybody who's played Final Fantasy X should know that these games are very much related. They're like... <laughs> Maybe this will do the trick. Yeah, you got on, but baby. <sighs> I like dab pens, especially at the end when they get dabby. <laughs> that's when they get the gummy part. Cause that's when they get strong. When they get like when they when they get gummy. My opinion. You gotta let them rest a little bit and then reuse them later on and then they sort of get more strong. I don't know, it's weird. It's hard to explain, but that's what a dead pen is. Dead pens get stronger in time, it's weird. <laughs> and once they're dead, they're dead, but you know what I mean. If you, those disposable dead pens can last a long time. Yeah, I heard of them. Fruity Pebbles? I've heard of Fruity Pebbles, yeah. Why do they bring rays? Oh yeah, to work on it. <laughs> yeah, I never tried it though, Fruity Pebbles. But I have tried something similar to Fruity Pebbles. I think it's the original Gumbo. Or what about the Gumbo Ceviche? I've tried a few different Gumbo strains re recently, because um, but they're usually based off of other strains. Like the strain is, I think it's Brain Freeze. And Brain Freeze will fuck you. <laughs> It's not the original gumbo, but it's probably one of the best ones, I think. Or the ceviche one. Ceviche. Then there's, uh, what's that other one? The blue magic. I 
The blue magic is good. Taste wise though, I still think the brain freeze is the best. Ceviche's pretty good though. The ceviche? Made by Nori. That's pretty dope. That one wasn't bad. It's like bubble gum, man. What do you think of this trip? Most people don't even know what's going on at the time when I'm playing my games, like. So I'm using Fleeting Familiar. This allows more pressure per magic I use. So every command she utilizes will do a little damage or additional pressure. Kind of See? <laughs> the little butterfly. The butterflies will help. See those butterflies? They add up and they, it, it means that a Fleeting Familiar is integral to Aerith. Because without Fleeting Familiar, her ATBs will go up mad slow. Yeah, you need to have the Fleeting Familiar out. It's really important to her core. Like, we're not saying it's optional, it's necessary. Definitely necessary. I feel like there's a lot of things of Era that I'm not using yet, that I should be using. I guess because I haven't had enough time to really, like, I don't know, fuck with it. What's this? Huh? Is it? Is it? I got everything else, so that was the only reason why I was here. Come back anytime you want to fight. I just wanted to get that because that's better than healing. Wind is planet's protection. So now we can go to battle settings and go with the Aerith and set up the planet protection, which will give us planet's favor of nullifications of all melee damage dealt to the party for a set duration. I think it's like 30 seconds. It's still very handy. Especially for the hard mode. However, mm, reflect would be nice. Er, I guess. But that being said, we now have a dance to attend. So let's heal. The chapter is more or less over at this point, so I wouldn't worry too much about MP wise. If you have prayer or chakra, you'll be fine. Delegate roles differently, you'll be more or less fine. Because once we equip elemental materia to her, sh her attacks are magical. Don't forget, Aerith's attack is irrelevant without a magic stat. The relevance of her magic is in fact the only relevance to her attack power, if anything at all. The only actual thing that matters for Aerith is magic. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. For Cloud, um, he is obviously based off of physical strength, but he is powerful in magical uh, um, aspect as well, as he's sort of well-rounded. And since he's got this boon, additional extra, it's sort of idealistic to keep the magic up. As opposed to the first strike, I'm gonna go with the luck up. Again, he's got good stats. With a fully leveled up luck up, how far would that get you compared to the prior 116 luck? Let's see, you think that can get me a lot further. With... I guess I'll do... Fire Elemental. Doesn't matter because we're not going to be in any counters at the moment, but... Yep, I'm ready to go, what? but I just wanted to make one little empty change. Alright, so now we gotta go and meet with Madam M. And then we take on the side quest to come, depending on which side quest you took on earlier. And you can meet that guy's dad, uh, Johnny's dad. This douchebag. Congratulations on winning the tournament. You're an impressive fighter. I know that you'll be a great influence on my Johnny. 
Why, you might even end up having a friendly rivalry. You can spur each other to greater heights. I can see it. You two will become great friends. The best of friends. <laughs> what is he talking about? <laughs> His son is mad annoying, bro. I don't like him at all. And he's always trying to get on the girl that I like the most, too. I hate his son. I think he's an asshole and a fucking dweeb. He's dumb. He's a dumb motherfucker, bro. He's dumb and he's definitely a dweeb. And he's a sucker, bro. With a low self-esteem. Alright, where the fuck is my... Sammy boy, where's you is? Now I gotta meet up with the Lulu lookalike, uh, Madam M. Double M and double L, <laughs> get it? Lulu, Madam L, Lady L and Madam M. Oh my God. I just keep finding them bro. Those correlations, think about it. Lady L and Madam M. How fucking interesting. Who's who is Lady L? Lulu. And then therefore who would who's Lulu's sister? Madam M. I couldn't think of anything perfect. I'm like, wait, Lady L, Lulu, Lady M, Madam M would be M M. Think about it. M, M, and Lulu. I mean, that is kind of interesting, but... Lulu and Emmy. Well, Emmy and Lulu. M, M. Well, Mimi, I guess. Mimi. Yeah, Mimi and Lulu. Her name would be Madam M. And Lady L. I just thought of that now. I mean, holy shit. Talk about coincidence. You really think that's a coincidence? I'm sorry, but I don't think it is. You're not a Final Fantasy fan, but anybody else who views this is, maybe most likely is, so... Lady L and Madam M. This is kind of funny. It's like they say, good things come to those who do. What goes around, comes around. And in ways that might surprise you. What is she talking about? I'm gonna put Eric in the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen. <laughs> Don't you dare screw Yeah, but... Now that that's out of the way. Once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? I'm not ready. I'll be back. So beat you, baby. Alright, I guess we'll have Eric to change, right? Yep. Alright then, let's get started. But. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far um. Than you'd know. In the meantime, um. Let me see, yeah. let me think. We have to go to Task <laughs> in town. The best of what this town has to offer. I don't know if I want to. Not interested. I know, right? Show the town what you have to offer instead, which is to say, what? what? You the most here, I just you found that so funny that, that Lady M, that you might be able like, to well, Madam M and Lady L. <laughs> Extra special treat. 
treatment. Now get out there and show me what you can do. Definitely no coincidence for the two. And that's enough of that. Aaron, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hair. There is really nothing you can do with the comparison she's up against. No offense. Well, I'll see you later, Plow. <laughs> and I'll poke out your eyes. Compared to what he gets to look at, there's not much to peek at. If Tifa is his girlfriend. I think because Tifa is much... Um, Oh, it's really discretion, I guess. It's an opinion thing. That's up to the opinion of the player. Me, I'm a Tifa person. I like Tifa. I'm a Tifa guy. I've always liked Tifa, though. For a long time. The longest of time. I think there are certain things we can do now, though. Though so I don't know what we need to do. I don't remember 100%. There's the gym here. This isn't a bad spot to start, actually. Yeah, this guy. This is great. It's hilarious. This guy, bro. I fucking hate this fucking guy, bro. I hate this guy. I hate this guy. He's a pain in the cock, bro, and I have a big one, too. So imagine how much of a pain it is. I wish. Right? Yeah, but you play on fair, bro. He plays mad dirty. Yeah, I'll do it. You don't have to, but you could do it. You want to give it a shot? You get another shot of luck, but I don't... I don't think... I'll do it. I'll, I'll see. I'll just... Yeah, I'll do it. Whatever. Nah, whatever. You're just jealous, bro. Um... It looks to be this evening. Squats, bro. I'll see what you've got. But what are you gonna use right for weight? You just gonna use nothing for weight? That's the weird part. There's you're not using anything for weight, that's the thing. He should have like a box of cat litter underneath him. That's how I do squats. With a box on all my back usually. This is so fucking funny, bro. <laughs> oh my god. It's so weird after a while, I'm like, okay. But I'm like, yeah, he needs a box or something over his over his head in order to do squats properly. Like, or else he's not really, he's just doing, there's no weight, you know? I mean, yeah, I guess you could just do him over and over, but you suppose a cat, I don't know.
to buy those like right quick to judge people by their build exactly and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson right what is he gay one big family here at this channel yeah, I wonder. If you're ever <laughs> training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. What a weird guy, dude. What a weird dude. What a just what is like a weird weird guy like. He's a very strange guy. <laughs> you up for some right? Oh! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I want to challenge I want to challenge him. This is his idea of squats, but my idea is different. My idea is a box of cat litter on your back, plus this. This, but cat litter on your on your back. That's squats to me. You are in the zone. I believe in you. I see the gimmick here, I'm just... Try. Hold on a second. You think I can really do it now? I don't have a chance, bro. You are in the zone. Slow and steady. One. Can't take them. Yeah, I can't do it. Um, give up. Give up real quick, and then you try. I'm not gonna do it though. Probably not. I don't think you get anything for it. But there is some things I do I need to do, though. So... I'll probably take on the stuff I need to do. I do weight lift, so... <laughs> um, I was gonna let him beat me. Anyway, fuck that, though, because I already got all the prizes, and I don't feel like it. Fuck that. I'm out, bro. I just wanted to beat Jules because he's so smug, and he thinks he's the best. Alright, we gotta go next to Zobo Hitha.
angel of the slum strikes again. Even says so on the car. Oh, we got an angel of the slums. Oh, so you're the new merc looking for work in Wall Market. Maybe you can help us sort this out. Hmm. Some criminals have stolen a shipment of donations found for the Leaf House. The fiends. The culprit is none other than the notorious angel of the slums. What? What are you talking about? Worshiper, some kind of bogey. But there's no denying she's the one that done did it. What? Look, what do you mean? It looks nothing. What the? They must have meant to write guardian angel. No, oh, on, what do you mean? That makes no sense. You a retard, dude. I guarantee this is not the work of the angel. People are obviously I illiterate. My own eyes. Three shady looking types. One yeah, illiterate. Scouting their mark like that. Well, yeah, they're, they're real illiterate. What? But that old lady? That old lady? You want her to do it? Wow, what a douchebag. What a douchebag that he would make that old lady do that. She would never, ever do I know that. To harm the less fortunate. Yeah, I know that. The three I saw and bring them here to me. They ran well, they are the less fortunate, actually. That's the, the irony. It's those guys are the less fortunate. That's the funny thing. She's bringing to justice the very same people that she helps. So, I guess she's trying to help them. Because those are the very same people that she helps. So... All right, yeah, we gotta go fight these cocksuckers, and our easy tip is I'll get oral fire. Let's not complicate things, right? Keep things pretty simple here. I got a bill of a clown, and that's pretty much iron blade, and elemental fire. Enemy skill HP absorbs. Lock up, magic up, skill master. And yeah, I've been going with um, some new stuff recently. Cause I realize I'm not gonna need most of this shit, so fuck it. These are a fucking full solid ATB boost. You can give him first strike. Then you're looking at a perfect clown. Well, I mean, there is. A, I mean, you don't have to give him that, but I mean, it doesn't seem to hurt. Cause if you start that fight encounter, like, that worst case scenario. I mean, you die, right? But, best case scenario, you live. And that's a good thing. I mean, you can't... Uh, okay, so like, like, elemental fire. This will allow you to heal. Now, how much you can heal based off of your magic up, I'm not sure. But I'm going to try to find out. This is with two magic ups. And then I'll also even put in a... I'm hearing just to find out how much healing I can actually get from this HP absorb. Let's give it a shot, see what we got going on here. You should be fine, because with my trick of the Algodora, I generally have little issues. I can generally afford to just kill myself and just let it all go to, let it all go to hell. I'm just really impressed with how they, you know, showcase the entirety of Midgar. It's a beautiful scale, I think. Scale, so, yeah, which we've never seen in Final Fantasy before. Alright, here these guys are again. Similar to how we fought the uh, fucking Al Bed people twice, also. Very sim very similar. The Obliterator and then the other thing. 
Yo, Blitzerator Mark 2. We picked him up at the Coliseum! Double knock, quadruple for what you done to us! What the triple? What the triple? What the triple? You're a fucking idiot. We're getting my new to be an asshole! <laughs> Fuck off, asshole. Oop, that's gonna roll me down, yep. Any time now. Try me. I won't give up. Let's be smart. I'm dead. Alright, so basically you just gotta, um, uh, what do you call it? Mm -hmm. Equip a heal, I guess, probably. I'll probably go with Chakra. Better to have it than to not. Right. Yeah, I realized the Brick Shithouse, I forgot about him. Not gonna lie. But yeah, we're gonna need, um, probably. If I'm being honest, we're gonna need healing material. And we should be good, but we'll... Uh, ah, fuck. I don't... I didn't bring haste with me, god damn it. It doesn't matter, it's fine. I don't need haste, but I would have liked to have had haste. The only one we really need is regeneration, but we shouldn't even need that either. Here we go. Alright, we can skip the scene and go right in, I think. Well, I know what we gotta do. We don't have to use Fyraga, remember, we can't. Here we go! Nope, half HP is gone, brother. No holding back. Yeah. Now heal time. All good. I won't give up. Alright, now quick, when we have the chance to, we need to use Algodora. I gotta get. I, I gotta try something. And the auto sword play volume eight. You're coming with me. Because the. The main issue here is that Disorder's main primary use is to switch your modes quickly. That's basically it. Oh man, you're real stupid! Here we go, Mikey, here we go. Shut your trap, moron! Well, what up, Sean? You don't honestly think that the beloved angel of the slums could be any of these three idiots, do you? I mean, possibly. This guy's fucking as dumb as the other two, I mean, come on! He's as fucking dumb as the other. I mean, well, you're a fucking idiot. Well, you should be sorry. Right? I'll consider us square. Once you've taught these boys a lesson. You mean the people that you help? I thought she helps the, the, you know, the um, the fuckheads, the um. 
The worst off people. I, I, I thought she looks out for the worst off people. What, uh, what's going on here? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, because I thought you were the angel of the slums. But it looks like you're the motherfucking... It looks like you're... The... The Punisher of the slums. <laughs> Basically, not, not the angel. You're the Punisher, I mean. So she's the Punisher of the slums. Why not just be honest and say she's the Jonas P Punisher of the slums? Yeah, the Punisher of the slums. You probably are. In other words, she's a motherfucking like sword. Like she's a fuck you to all the down downtrodden, saying you could be better than that. Stop being a fuckhead and big up your shit, bro. And stop being an asshole. That's what she is. She's a reminder to all those who are not in a good position. You know, all those of the slums. A reminder. Not to be a fucking asshole because we live by our names, not by our blood. You know, we're born by who we are, but we may be born common blood, but we still have to represent ourselves of the utmost importance because of that common blood. And thus the angel of the slums punishes those with great severity the downtrodden specifically so criminals like that makes the rest of commoners look bad I guess tries to bring them to justice all right where are we going next we are getting another visit to the Coliseum I think she said you had time to kill before Eric's ready for the big event so uh, what do you say to taking on a little extra work while you're waiting around we I could do that hell of a lot of fans clamoring to see their favorite champ go another round or ten and something tells me they're not I mean like Sean did you play again. Final Fantasy 7 for the PlayStation I could boot it up later and show you the comparison between the two it's insane but how similar they are and how like shit this shit is really a re-envisioning of the game I remember playing it on the PlayStation when I have it. I have it on my PS5. It's insane the difference. It's crazy. Chocobo bean popcorn. What the? What about the chocobo bomb? Chocobo hymns. Choco bomb. No, but I feel like. This Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth is gonna be fucking awesome, though. You know what to do. Take the elevator and head on down. I can't wait to see you fight. Okay, alright, alright. I just didn't want to fucking drop my butt again on my motherfucking jeans. That's not good. Whenever I drop a cherry on the jeans or on my shirt, there's a waste, bro. That happened to two of my jeans once. Cherries fell on both of them. Terrible. Yeah, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's he gonna need for this? Hmm. He's a good switch up, though. Makes a lot of sense, actually, to give him. everything we got going on? Yeah, fuck. 
Here he is. All right. Free battle. Special match. Yeah, but I don't have the weakness they're looking for, but I'm going to do whatever I can, I guess. Like I said, my Algador allows me to pretty much dodge most of the things I would need to find challenging, but don't. Watch this shit. Now easily do this. Start with Algadora. Easy peasy shit, bro. I just need to get back on my element, man. Like, it just tickled me. Of course. You can't expect to beat me in one piece, bro. You go kill y'all. But if there is anything you probably should be working on, it's probably prayer or chakra. Because there's no wait time on that. It's quick. Second fastest thing uh, over anything other than like... I'd say Arise is one of the best spells ever, but... It is. So Diamond Dazzle is really good because it's got... Well, comes with Life 3. It's the only way to get life three, by the way, is your Seraphic or Dazzle. Some special effects in this game, you wouldn't be surprised, like, wow. Really? Yeah, Diamond Dazzle offers interval heals of cure and randomly selects a member for Mana Ward, Mana Wall, and or Haste. Usually cure, mana ward, or or protect shell cure, really. Protect shell cure, randomly targeted. And then upon triggering Diamond Dazzle, everybody will come back to health. To be or not to be, that is thy question. Right? Well, usually if Carbo, Carbo is out, like I said, the Carbo. Hey, hey, that's why I call him Carbo. I don't call I'll him Carbo for nothing. Carbo is Carbo because... That's exactly what it is. He gives you the carbs to fight. That's why I equip Carbuncle. Everybody knows Carbuncle is fucking dope. But I gotta look to see this chapter because I have to make sure we get all the... Uh, all the manual scripts. That's the main thing. So there's two more in this chapter, in the town that never sleeps. And it's a pretty big chapter, and given that much, so... That's why I kind of figured it'd be covering a lot. Okay, so... We now have to go... To meet with... This... Mr. Fagula. Super... Super gay man, or I should say, super fabulous. Because I'm not really against gay guys per se, not really. Despite what I said earlier, but I'm really not against them. I just know that there's something wrong with it. It's certainly not healthy to be a homo. 
sexual. That's not normal, obviously. I, it can't be. It's not natural. As much as I would love to say, yeah, guys can get along as fine, but... You must be drinking, man. Did you drink? Because you sound drunk. Huh! <laughs> I mean, I got a bottle of whiskey, but I only cracked that shit open. Well, I got a, I got a bottle of... What I got here? Oh, I'm, yeah, I got a Texas. It's Irish whiskey. Texas Rangers whiskey. It's actually pretty good. And you know what they say. Shit gets better with time bro when it comes to like whiskey most liqueur actually ages google with ages nice get stronger richer nah, i know fuck it fuck it right yeah i know ah, anyway oh we gotta talk to this guy my apologies sir we are still preparing for our you gotta be kidding me i don't even like drinking alcohol Mm, me neither, but I do, but I don't, but I don't, but I do, if I have a reason to do it. I don't drink regularly, that's why I have a bottle of scotch in my closet. Because I'm allowed, well, because I'm able to, you know? Like, if I was an alcoholic, I probably wouldn't be able to have that, because I, you know what I mean? I actually got myself a bottle of scotch for my room, because... Of that very, very very reason, maybe it's like a mental reminder of control or power. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably like a mental reminder of control that I have over my substance abuse. <laughs> you know, it always reminds me that oh yeah, that's right. I have a control of my drinking, so I don't have a drinking problem because I don't. So I always got myself a bottle of whiskey to prove it. I guess you know. Like, I'll never run out of whiskey because I... Yep. Yeah. This sucks, man. It's too bad. He really sh I mean, like... I calculated it, and if he had done it correctly, he shouldn't have died. I mean, I was looking at the calculation. I mean, he must have gotten a loose... He must have gotten loose when he was doing it. If he had done it right and nothing had gone wrong during his surf, he would have been fine. Uh, I mean, the measurements are there. Uh, something, he must have gotten loose and something went wrong in the middle of it. And he just, you know? Because I don't know what happened. Apparently, he got loose and he just fucking... But... Imagine if he got scared in the middle of it and just like, shit, bro, don't do that. That's the last thing you do is to let go. Now you hold on to your life. <laughs> you can't. You got to stay on and you got to stay flat and wait until the train stops before you move. You can't move. You already decided to go through with this, so you might be scared shitless, but you got to stay on that train and stay down. Keep your head down and just stay down and wait until the train stops. No matter what, you just stay in that position. Is anything else going to kill you? You just got to stick with it. You know what they say? Great men will always move forward, never looking back. Always accepting the consequences. Nobody was to blame, that's all his fault. Yep. Nobody says mount the train loop and stand on a moving train. I, I know, that's what I'm saying. I said a man always looks forward and he never looks back. So it's his own fault that he that happened, you know? If he had done it right, he wouldn't be dead. But he didn't do it right, so, you know, it's his own fault. Like, I did crazy shit in my youth, but like, uh, I didn't do that. If I was going to do something like that, I probably would be doing it at Six Flags, you know? Like, I did the gyro and shit like that, like... But I wouldn't do stuff like that because you could just go on something like a gyro thingy majiggy. You know, like those crazy rides. Why do something like that and then you end up dead? Because, I mean, no offense, but I've done the Batman rides, like, that shit's the roller coaster. It's fucking nuts, man. Shit's insane. Probably a lot more insane than that stupid fucking train surf. If I'm being honest, the controlled Batman roller coaster at Six Flags? Definitely yeah, much more intense. But it. Okay, but. It's because of what he did that it's uncontrolled. But look what happened. You could do it controlled. At Six Flags, and you won't have that happen. 
should we admire the fact that the guy did something and we got the most negative result out of it? I don't know. But I think the cautionary tale is that we don't do things uncontrolled like that because of the... Yeah, yeah I think the, the, like, the cautionary tale here is we don't do things like that because of that very reason. You know, like he stands to be a cautionary tale and he serves to be a reminder not a loss, you know, but actually as a like, sort of a potential gain, if you want to say. A reminder as to what not to do. You know, I know it sounds fucked up, but I don't want a little kid to die either. I feel bad, but, you know, he did make his choice. And for it, we now have a 15-year-old kid, right, who died from blood loss. Probably due to panic, I'd imagine. I'm imagining the kid probably panicked midway and or lost his footing. It's either one of the two. Lost footing or handling or panicked and then just sort of, you know. But regardless, I really feel bad for that family and I'm sure they're going through a lot. So my prayers are with them. Anyway, um, Kids check in. These days are so desperate for attention, they die for the attention. Yeah, all oh, sad. Because he could have went to Six Flags to do something like that and not die, you know? Like, I wouldn't kill for the attention. I mean, it's fine to have the attention, but do you need it? I don't think you need it. I mean, it's nice to have, but you don't need it. What's up with- oh, I hate this guy. This guy, man. Tifa, she, I, Tifa, oh. she, she's, I don't. These guys are douchebag. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls. And Tifa's- Tifa's gonna be- <laughs> He's funny though, I like him. At least they got a guy who's likable, but with a punchable face. I'll come too! I'll come too! Hey bro, can I call you bro, alright bro? Move up man! Hey bro, totally related that you're like my fucking my day there. Yeah, like he's so cool bro. Cause I'm on steroids bro. It's like poetry and violence. Bam bam, whoosh whoosh. You gotta do better than that bro. Sorry, but if you wanna be like me, you're gonna have to be harder. Yeah, but the problem is you're not as good as me bro. I do it better, that's why I have a stream and you don't. <laughs> so get out of here! Go find Aerith and Madam Mims. And tell Lee L to suck me off. Well, yeah, don't just let go, man. I told you, like I said. No, you don't fuck with the train. Don't surf it. And if you do, remember what the consequences are. I, I don't even feel comfortable riding in the middle, to be honest, when it comes to trains. Like, I I don't fuck with things like trains and elevators. I really don't. I do not fuck with those. Don't screw with those things. Those are the things that, you know, they guide you horizontally and vertically, and you don't want to screw with an elevator. You know, who wants to get stuck in an elevator? I don't. That's the worst thing to happen. I'll be like, Mommy, let me out! Mommy, let me out! <laughs> I'll be the first one to scream for mom, bro. But, yeah. I mean, nobody wants to get stuck in an elevator. You've ever been stuck in an elevator? I have. It's horrible. You know that's only good for Getting stuck in an elevator is terrible. Yeah. Some guy attempted to jump off the ferry last week. Really? No, but... You know what I mean? Like, getting stuck in an elevator is really... Like, it's a... Like, you don't know how long you... You just don't know how long you're going to be in there for. The only other option is to climb the wire, you know, depending on where you're stuck. So, it's scary if you get stuck in for, like, when it exceeds over usually three hours. It could be a situation where you meet, you might get stuck in there for, like, a day until they come and get you. Depending. But it could be weird and scary, especially if you're claustrophobic. Same thing with a train that doesn't stop. If a train doesn't stop and it keeps on going and it's off the rail, that's another scary scenario. The train's just going and it can't stop. 
because it maybe it has a bomb detonated to its engine or you know because sometimes a train get hijacked and there are reasons they can't stop sometimes trains are forced onto the rails or usually their engines engine related issues but yeah they call them runaway trains runaway trains or you know elevators from hell you don't want any of those doom trains or hell elevators They have Doom. a 9 hyphen 1 hyphen 1 emergency call button inside every elevator in America. Yep, elevators and doom trains. Because we all know that's where everything happens. Other than that, and you're just on a straight up angel, man. Because that's what a plane is. Every plane is like a white. It's like a white angel in the sky. Every time you go on a plane, you're basically on a, you're on a dove. Getting ready to just get strike down. Are you gonna be a falling angel or are you gonna be a flying angel? I don't know. I guess it's up to the jihad to decide. <laughs> oh sweet, so we got the original getup from FF7 with her in the red and Tifa in the uh, purple. Skimpy purple. That shows her lady parts. Hey, yeah. Uh. That's really. <sighs> Nothing compared to the other girl, Maybe though. Unfortunately, it's kind of weird. This dress is so gaudy and impossible. But they're both based off of realistic girls, too. That's the weird thing. Yeah. Cloud. She's still hot, though. Excuse me. I mean, she is. Huh. For for CGI rendered like to give you my message? game you like yeah she's pretty hot because she's not a game like it's not a cartoon she's not based of a cartoon it's based of an actual um, actress these uh, people these uh, fucking these models they're based of a real people don't worry I wasn't gonna exactly M, Honestly, the way I act, I just, like to meet in person. I act a lot like him. Just the way I talk, stuff like that. So yeah, we're going to be meeting this um, extra fabulous guy. Uh, his name, well, Mr. Fabulous. Uh, he's really talk, like not my style, like I said, I'm not pro-gay but I'm not against gay my, certainly I'm not against bisexuals there's nothing wrong with that because you're procreating right bisexual is fine that's actually the best way to be probably right bisexual I just don't have any sexual feelings towards men really so it's not a choice it's just I don't get it because actually I get along with guys better than girls I do I get along with them but I don't physically like them like that I just there's no you know so there's no click so, I'm kind of restricted to kind of women. Anyway, it's kind of funny when you see them together though, because it's like, you can see them in comparison. I'm like, is this like a cuckold for breasts? <laughs> You'll see what I mean. It's basically like breast cuckolding. It's the cuckolding of breasts. Well, breast. Breast comparing um, humiliation. <laughs> it's just weird. But no offense, Wood Girl has tits that big. Not her. She's normal, but you'll see. No, you'll see what I mean. The difference between these two girls is insane. That other girl's breasts are huge. Hers are actually like modest and like kind of on the smaller side, right? She's not flat, but she's not like... She's not like that other girl, Tifa. Remember the girl from the subway system the other night? The one with the fucking boom, 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 boom. The one who put her to shame if you compared breast size. That one. The girl whose breasts are probably bigger than her head. She looks like the one from Dead or Alive. 
I know. Remember the girl the other day? The girl with the breast the size is probably, I'd say, about the size of his head. Probably about that size. Around his head, like two of his heads. No, about like five times that. Like five of those. Five of those. Boom, 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 boom. Whole bunch of them. Yeah, she was in the school girl outfit. Yeah, and her like they were huge. The biggest thing you've ever seen. I was like, are those thirty-four double D's? And yep, they Who were actually. They, they were based well, off a of thirty-four double D. You know, I mean, the actress, that's who they based, they based it off of, an actress with a 34 double D waist, and, yep. I can't believe that, I guessed it too, I was like, 34 double D. What, yep. Based off of some girl that's got 34 double Ds, man. She's like a, um, martial arts girl. You know, she's into, like, fitness. You have to look up the voice actress, but I don't know, it's a Japanese girl, though, I think the actual body... Her body, her, but her American voice actress is just different. But the Japanese voice actress, yeah. Her bus size, 34 double D. But a lot of Japanese girls have big tits, so it's not surprising. As do white girls, too, though, that's another thing. They got pretty big ones, too. Um, do we want to? Titties on a girl I ever hooked up with. She had size H cuff breasts. That's too big. Um, head to the stage? No, not yet. Oh, we. Do we have the wrong person? Well, I don't really the wrong person, but I'd like to go and see this drunk guy first because he's cool. I love the drunk guy. And there's this chick too. That's kind of like, what shape do you think that is? That she's waving a pussy at. Ass, yeah, pussy, whatever. Same shit. She's moving her puss in a certain way, right? To me, I think it's a triangle. Right? Mm. It's definitely a triangle going up. She's shaking a booty upward and then downward and then... It's a triangle. I'm gonna go triangle, Sean. I'm going with triangle. <laughs> Watch the stinger, sweetie. <laughs> I'm going with triangle, bro. Small it's triangle. Girl I hooked up with was B cup, and that's a hornet like a bee. Um, yep. B cup, yeah. For me, he's also a B, yeah, but not really long, because after that, I kind of strictly just started going with big ones, I don't know why. C36, um... Uh, I don't even know, D30 something, uh, Brittany, Brittany was a D, but I don't remember what size exactly, um, and I also don't remember what size, I just know that a lot of them were like, like Julia was, like a D, <laughs> but she wasn't a 34 double D, I think she was like a 38 D or some shit, like she had, like, 34 double D is really, like, big tits and no waist at all. You're just like, tits, that's it. I've only gotten with, like, the best waist, I guess it would probably be 36. I think it's 36, but I'm currently talking to a girl who looks like she's possibly a 34 double D. And she might be, but it doesn't matter, because if she doesn't live in New York, then I'm not interested. Because I'm not... What am I going to do with her? For, she lives in a different state. What the fuck am I gonna do? I could jerk off over a screen. That's it. And I'm not really here at liberty to talk about that. But like, for real, I'm not interested really. Unless she's gonna be moving here to New York. What the? Fuck? I don't want to watch this guy getting off. You could also find Palmer in the other room, but who cares about that? Let's go. I want to do the show. 
I like that girl. She's pretty hot. She's a hot one for me. Now let's practice. Time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? I'd rather be a little bit darker in the hair, I but. One my ex GFS ass and hips. She was a forty three point five inch ass girl. Oh, see, I like brunettes like that, but like lighter skinned like the other one. Like Tifa does have what I like. It's just her tits might be a little too big. <laughs> That's all. But it, big is good. I'm not gonna complain. I'm the one who said I liked big titted brunettes, so. <laughs> Delicious. I got rhythm though. Perfection. They're all perfect. I am perfect. Unless you distract me otherwise. Well. There you go. I'm perfect. I'm per you, but will I be perfect? I know that, but will I? I don't like girls with short hair though. Fuck that shit. Makes me feel like I'm back in the Stone Age. What the fuck's going on here? Are you a man or a woman? The guys had short hairs and beards to identify they were men. And women had longer hair and no beard that they decided to signify they were women. Don't be flipping it around now. Like, let's get things right. You know, guys have short hair and usually have some facial hair or whatever. Or not, but they usually always have, like, short hair. With sometimes, like, 5 o'clock shadow or goatee. Or clean shaven sometimes, or beard, like that fucking guy. But I'm just saying, there's a differentiation. Like girls don't have short hair. That's weird. Unless you're trying to identify as a boy. But you know, like, well, guys have 60% more muscle mass than females, but it's just fact. I don't know why they gotta point it out though. That's so weird because you're kind of alienating the guy, making him feel different. <laughs> it's weird. I would hate that if a girl started saying, oh, look at his muscles. I would not like that at all. I'd be like, ugh, skeeving me out, man. Skeeving me out. You're making me feel all self-conscious. It's like, imagine me saying, look at his, look at her titties. Woo! And I'm like, like, getting my hands all over her, like, ooh, she's so scrumptious. You know, it wouldn't make a girl feel so good. Because that's no different. You're objectifying the man. Ooh, look at his muscles. I know what you're saying. It's like, oh, what guy wouldn't like that? He could give a good dick. That'd be a compliment. It's like, he's a good dick giver. I'd be psyched if a girl told me I could give a dick. But some people might not be. Because some people could be like, no, you're objectifying me. <laughs> you are making me an object, and I'm like... I don't mind an object. I'm more than that. I'm a fucking piece of work. I'm a piece of art. I'm a fucking story. Welcome to the I'm a... Uh, I'm all that and a bag of dicks. You seek my approval. Uh, I don't seek anybody's approval. I just... I just rock my ass off all night long. But those who pray and I swing my dick around like a motherfucking... Like a... Like a playboy. Oh, I know how to groove. But... Thing is, like, am I gonna groove for him? I don't know. It really depends on if I'm feeling, like... If I'm feeling it or not. Let me see if I can feel the rhythm. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. I don't give a fuck, it's bobsled time. There you go. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. I don't give a fuck, because it's steely time. Mike steel time. Steely time. Steel time. It's steel play time. I got the rhythm. Think you can follow my lead. I got the rhythm, I got the rhyme. There you go. <laughs> oh. Oh. That was tricky. I like this. <laughs> it's got good. Uh, this is a good song. 
Hop. Ah, oh, I fucked it up. That's my fault. Oh well. <laughs> I screwed that up on accident. So just encouraging. I know that's not a word, but I said it, so it's a word now. Just encouraging, get used to it. If you don't like it, go fuck yourself. Like I said, I said it, so it's a word now. And I represent the Archangel Michael. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo this because I'm not accepting a bad, which I'm gonna get now. Yeah, hold on, I'm gonna just try return to this guy title screen to redo that because I have to get it perfect for that. Mmm. I will miss the fucking thing, that's the problem. Mmm. I wanna get the earrings, but unless I keep the earrings I already have, then I'm, I won't mind. Then it's fine. Because I forgot that you get the earrings. But if I keep the earrings I had, then that's fine. Because I already proved I could rhyme and whatever. Like, I'm actually got rhythm, believe it or not. I'm really good with rhythm. But I have to redo it. Because I screwed up too many of them. And I already know that. You know? In other words, I didn't do it. Like, I... I know the ones I fucked up. See? Too bad. That was the problem, and that's the why I probably won't get those earrings. Because of the two bad ones. I don't know how they do the score, honestly, but I have a lot of rhythm, actually. I'm very artistic. But, I don't know if it's enough to win his favor, because I could've did all of them perfect. But, I think he goes by a chart. You have to... You can't get any beds. If you are good enough, you will get like a um, trophy and like he'll give you his earrings. But I think I have the earrings already. So fucking hilarious, bro. Is she gay? I'm assuming all of these guys are like bisexual. Unless cross dressing is a hobby. <laughs> this is so fucking funny, bro. My goodness. I didn't get the earrings though, because I got the two bads. But yeah, trust me, I got rhythm. I easily did almost all of them perfect. And then I was like, nah, fuck it. <laughs> oh, there you go, I got the earrings, see? Andre is the earrings obtained. Well, I mean, I got them already, that's why I did all of them perfect. I could do all of them perfect, I just accidentally fucked up one of them and then it made me screw up the other one. I was like, tried to go back and redo it, but. <laughs> This is what I was fighting for! This is what I was trying to get! I mean, come on. It's gotta be crazy. He's a good looking guy and all, but like, I'm just not gay, so I don't... But it was certainly a fucking spectacle to be seen, right? Life can be harsh, life can be better... Fucking catchy, bro. So long as you get most of them great, you should get Andre's earrings though. Which is an optional item that you'll be able to obtain. In fact, they're probably a good idea to save. Now that was a show. I love how they kept this in from the original game, it's so cool. Cause this is in the original game. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. 
<laughs> oh my god. He has to do this though to save his like, girlfriend, you know, his ex-girlfriend. Well, the girlfriend he forgot that he had, I guess you could say. It's just so fucking funny. Because I mean, I would do that too, I guess, if I was in this situation. Sorry, I had to get my cat. Right, Loki? You're a good boy. There you are. You're a good buddy. I still have to change your box, though. So, so, be patient, though. Alright, um... Let me just save this. Gotta make a save. I should make a separate save, no. Probably, but... Oh, which slot? I'm thinking to myself. Fifth slot, maybe. I should seven slot. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's go. Wait on those more challenging boss fights. Why don't you just save the game mid fight? This way, if you die in game, you reload. Oh, uh, but you could do that. Game. Yeah, I did this game on hard mode on the original for PS4. But I didn't complete it on hard mode on the integrate, you know? So I'm kind of using everything I know from the, you know, the PS4 version. And I'm trying to do it again on hard mode. Again on the integrate again, because that's the canon while you know they're not really supporting the PS4 anymore. It's fucked up, I think, that they're not doing that, but yeah, they stopped supporting the uh They stopped the support of the PS4. Um the IP of FF7 remake. They stopped the support. There's no longer supporting the FF7 remake for PS4. They announced it like a few months back that going forward they will no longer be giving any more support to the ff7 remake for ps4 and will only be now concentrating on the ff7 um rebirth and integrate for ps5 as a standalone title blah blah blah, blah and to be yet announced released for other consoles is to be determined not that they stated but maybe in the future they'll make it, I don't know. But still, the Yuffie episode isn't even available for PS4. So it just looks like, to me, like they just deaded the... Like I said, they stopped support for PS4. It ain't work supporting it no more. In other words, they're giving... They're, they're trying to make every single person have a PlayStation 5, I guess. Because that's what I said. I said, like, well, they can't do that unless everybody has a PS5 or an Xbox. What's the new Xbox called? I don't even know the name of it, bro. Xbox on... Fucking what? What's it called? Xbox... What I forgot. But... VR is the next shit, bro, by the way. That'll be the next level shit. <laughs> be VR. We got a big boss fight coming up, actually. A really big... I'm a dude, dude. What the fuck is wrong with these guys? They can't tell? Be like no different than me getting up in a, you know, put makeup on. I mean, like, these guys can't tell. Are they blind? Are they literally blind? All right, now, time to finally meet the Don. You know what they say: every game has a good penultimate. Penultimate encounter, the penultimate event, or I guess the penultimate pen. Um, what do they call it? The pinnacle, right? It's like it's the pinnacle of the, the highlight. Like it's the biggest point of the, the highest point. Like the, oh, what do you call it? The Celsius point. This is the highest point of it'll ever get. It's like when Ragnarok erupts, like, you know, the biggest point of the... 
sort of like where the highest point of the where the algorithm spikes first you know it's like it's where it goes highest at its first point the highest its first high point I'd call that the first ultimate showdown hey, hands to yourself. which is usually followed or introduced by a big encounter in itself and then preceded by another huge encounter with you know another reveal like we're doing right now <laughs> but then you're gonna find out that the reveal is none other than somebody else as always the curtain well, I'm at the end you ass fuck it's called the climax thank you I knew that by the way I'm just stupid <laughs> I'm forgetful trust me I have ADD Sean if I'm a genius and I'm surely a goddamn idiot. Loki, get to the What's that weird, sweet smell? And why do I feel so dizzy? Gas. Uh, uh? Come on. Damn it. Cloud. My fucking cat is knocking my light down. I'm like, what the? What are you doing, Loki? Damn it. You fucking don't knock the light down. You can get hurt, man. Don't fuck with the light, you idiot. You get electrocuted. That's how cats die. It's one of the main ways cats get hurt is by chewing wires and fucking with lights and crap. That's the last thing I need is my cat dying on me or getting electrocuted because he fucks the goddamn light. He doesn't fucking know though. I don't want him to get hurt. <laughs> you want to throw down? <laughs> No, I love this funny. You wanna throw down, no, motherfucker? Me. Some real lookers. Sure. Uh, I love my cat. He's cool. He can be a dick sometimes. Oh, yeah. That's what I was talking about. This is called booby cuckold. <laughs> this is titty cuckolding. Unless there was such a thing as breast humiliation videos. Is that what they were going for? Cause that's Cloud? Is that you? Watch, just, oh, just, just that makeup and that dress. They, they make those types of videos, so mm. I'm just saying, is this a humiliation show right now? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Like, it's like a little inside joke. Is this a humiliation <laughs> video? The flat chested one. We you mean the flat chested one, huh? <laughs> You mean the fire chested one? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. No, not until I got what I came for. What? So, whoa. After we made it back to the You mean you mean whoa, around, right? Not so. Well, I don't blame them. I've got a lot of questions too. Right. Mm, more like they were her girls, you mean. But I couldn't figure out why. Neither can I! So I can't figure out. That's what I'm gonna do, except Seriously. I'd ask the woman, right? Seriously? That's what I was thinking, if I could find a way in, and then I realized, yeah, I'd be one of a million candidates, because every guy wants a girl like her, it'd be all for nothing. Why? Nobody wants you. I don't want to fuck a, I'm not fucking a dude, first of all, and I don't want the flat chested one, so, whatever. Uh, well, I guess if we're all fucking each other, then I guess not. Fuck. Me? You're all oh. fucking each other. Yeah, it's we're all fucking each other. Chosen, no, nope. I, don't know, I mean, if we're all fucking each other, then it's like... Don't yeah, don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. I mean, oh. look. Come I mean, she me. wants to fuck you. Out. I'll fuck her too. I mean, you're my girlfriend, so I mean, I already fucked you. So, I mean, I obviously fucked you, so you fucked me too. So, then you just have to fuck her and we'll all be good. We'll just fucking fuck who? You fuck me, I fuck you, you fuck her, I fuck you, we'll all fuck each other. Nobody really cares, and you can't talk her out of it because she does what she wants to do. She's an ancient. We don't really know that yet. All I know is that... Wowza. Whoa. Jesus. Holy moly, does Jesus know about this? Now ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition Am I is looking at the Ark of the Covenant? Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on ladies, let's hustle. 
but I can't see them. All right, guys, let's do this. Guys, do you want I mean, to do this? just weird, cause like I swear to God, no. I'm pretty sure. No, what do you mean? I didn't say no. I mean, I'm standing here. <laughs> I can't. I just really like. Really, um, no, I don't know if that's the word. No, um, no, is that no is not the word. It's more like. Well. Um, well, okay. That's a better word. Well. Um, well. They appear to almost be the size of his head. And I am not, like, I'm not joking. Like, being serious. Like, I was trying to figure it out. I'm like, are they the size of her head? I think they are. So, I mean, I've seen girls like that, though. Well. And they're just usually not that thin. You know, like, not that thin. Because it's like... They're a dime a dozen. They don't usually come like that. Her p arms are like pipes. I've seen girls like this very rarely, though. Are you ever going to see a girl with a chest that big? That no. thin. <laughs> Just... But, I mean, I've seen them. They exist. They're out there. No. But, um... I wouldn't expect a girl to have a chest like that, though. Jesus. It's like hung like a goddamn... No. She's got, like, big ones. <laughs> like abnormally big like don't expect that it's like insane you know like symmetry wise like most girls aren't gonna have tits like that like <laughs> I mean you gotta be realistic any guy would know that most girls aren't gonna have tits like that I mean that's like tits of the goddess bro like literally am I looking at Minerva like I don't know Am I looking at the Santa Maria? Am I looking at the Virgin Denodotus? I don't know. It's like, it's crazy. I don't know. It's like, I'm looking at the chest of something sacred here. That certainly ain't no chest of no normal girl. Not like that. That looks like the chest of a goddess. Come on. You know you're into this. Well, that's more like modest and normal. Like what a girl would normally have. Like if she does have like a B. So? Which a lot of girls seem to hit C cup, so that would be like a little bit over her. But most girls are not hitting this. Well, Definitely not. That's like, woo! Well, you weigh probably 120 pounds, and 20 pounds is old breast. And that's it. Now I'm off. Cloud out. Let's go. So I'm with two girls. One that weighs probably like 100 and something pounds. I'm assuming. And then she probably weighs 120 pounds. Probably like 20 pounds as old tits. The other one probably weighs 90 something pounds, but just regular. 98 pounds. We have one girl who's 98 pounds, but just regular. Then the other girl is 120 pounds, but she's skinnier than the other girl is 98 pounds, but she's pretty much all tits. Sounds like the girl I'm looking for, but they're just hard to find. You need to get a personality to match. You look kind of familiar. Yeah. We haven't met before, have we? Kicked your ass a second ago, dude. I kicked his ass before with the fucking hell house. Whatever. I guess his big tits are probably distracting him. Oh man, they distract me. <laughs> I already know which one it is. Well, Don Corneo made up his mind. He wants the big bone girl. And I'll take the other girl for my own. Yeah, the breast around nothing's ever gonna keep you down. Nope. That's what it's meant for, to keep me up. One shall I He's objectifying them. Now it's the girl's turn to get objectified and see how they like it. You see what I'm saying? See what I was saying before? About how we were being objectified? About... Ooh, look at those muscles. Well, now the girl gets objectified. Ooh, yummy. How delicious. Big titties. Ooh. But the irony of it all is that amongst the women, with all the titties and big butts and luscious assholes and cunt holes and whatnot, whatnot, you have one guy. Probably is a dick and shit. Dick and balls. It's just so ironic. I want the one with the cock and balls. The girl with the cock and balls. The one with the cock and balls. Not with the girl with the big tits, but... 
Which one of you said that? Was cock and balls. Yeah. The one cock and balls. Not watermelon fun bags. You got a mouth I'm gonna you. enjoy break. Oh my break god, dude! That's a guy, yes, man! Yeah, in downstairs you mean the big bone girl. If you mean Still the one with the big bone together. downstairs, I mean um, oh, yeah. I'd rather go with the big breasted girl, not the big bone so girl. So what the fuck? Yeah. He wants the girl with the hard on. Basically, he said I'm gonna have the girl with the big bone. Well, only girl who's gonna have a big bone is either gonna be a guy or a transvestite. No and her big bone. Remember, uh -oh. don't forget about the big bone. That's exactly what I would say. Ah, yeah, but kittens it. fuck up. <laughs> kittens fuck you up, bro. Cats are, aren't yes. nothing to fuck with. What was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just um, scumbag, bro. I'm sure do about ready to fuck him up, though. <laughs> Man, what a piece of shit, bro. Honestly, he's just iconically, ironically hilarious. Because he's the pig. He's like the last thing a girl would ever want in a guy is somebody like that. And I'm not going to lie, when I fit profile, I kind of just fit Cloud. Out of all the characters, I kind of look and act probably like Cloud. The most. I might be a bit more talkative than Cloud. But more or less, I look and act like him. Yeah. Believe it or not. I wouldn't lie about that. And Sean knows what I look like, so. I just happen to, like, be that way. But I'm not perfect. I'm just saying that Cloud isn't that far off from what I actually look like in real life. Although I wear a hat a lot in real life and whatnot, but I do kind of have that look about me. Ironically. Because I always used to wear my hair spiky, so I used to look like an anime character. Sometimes. I have green eyes. I have dirty blonde brown hair. Um, I get usually wear a hat, so... Um, and yeah, so... But even if I had to voice act, I think I'd just do Cloud the best. Like, it's not hard for me to do that, it's, it's cloud. Cloud's cloud, it's cloud's easy. Well, if you have that kind of voice, I guess. Thank you. Really depends on what kind of voice you got, I guess, right? I mean... He's probably fine, but, you know, I'm sure he's... I'm sure he's got everything taken care of. But, um, you can never be too, uh, too careful. Alright, so we do have here a chest that's useless because we can't use any of that shit. Even if we could use it. That's why I said item only challenge. Because that's a way to make use of all this free shit. And actually make it challenging in the same, in the same breath, you know? would be to do an items only challenge. I mean, what do you think things like Molotov cocktails or any of like, look at all the items this game offers that you're cutting yourself off from. So, grenades. You could certainly, there's certainly enough items to stock up on, I say, to make an item only run possible, I think. In other words, you can only use items in terms of main commands. I've like seen it before, all materia runs where you have to be forced to use just a certain materia in a certain kind of slot. Like if we do green, Aerith, cloud, yellow, Tifa, purple Tifa, um, we could do this, uh, making blue interchangeable. Because we have to have three slots for each kind. Yellow. So yellow cloud. Green Aerith. And Tifa purple. So this would just be command materia. 
challenge. And, um... This just means that at any given time you want somebody to fit... I mean, I fit my roles like this pretty much to a T anyway, that anybody who's going to be fitting in the yellow materia slot command build is going to be built around a tank, you know, uh, more or less. They're going to be tanking or healing support. If they have green, then they're going to be predominant on damage, magic, primary, or support buff or debuff. Crowd control, etc. Um, Tifa is usually, for me personally, a tricky, tricky character because True Strike is really useful, but so is using it in conjunction, say, for like argument's sake, the use of Dive Kick. Argumentally, it, it, well, I'll show you what I mean. She's a master of purple materia, so her build is roughly very core. I'll show you what I mean. So, she doesn't rely on defense, luckily. This game is very literal when it comes to defense, so it's very hard. So, hard fact. So you'll be reducing a lot of the damage when you go into your block mode or whatnot. It's a very hard number. Like, So, steadfast block is probably useful for her because... Oh, I'm sorry, not useful for her, because uh, it's not as useful for her, because she usually provides better ATB charge via parry than block, you know, she just does. And deadly dodge, too. These can kind of go together. Other things that I would really, really recommend she does is roll on time magic. First strike. Always been good to have something like this. Time magnify is very, very helpful. Her speed is really high. So she fills up ATB gauges quick, like really quick. She's got the highest luck in the game, so walk up is an obvious choice for her. She may not really need elemental material, to be honest. As long as you have both walk ups on her, and have a skill master on her, ATB assist, um, Then we can start working on this other piece of chakra too, which is good. And with it, we should be in good shape. I love controlling Tifa. She plays fantastic. But you don't get the actual luxury of playing as this big, beautiful, titted, gorgeous piece of meat until much later on. You can control her in battle, though. See that shit, man? She's fucking wrecking it. She wrecks it. The life stream. Everything goes back to the life stream. Wait, can we get another fury ring in here? I think we can. It's a dicey weapon, but... It's a good weapon. It's a good accessory, I should say. Fury Ring actually works well for Devo. In a weird way. If you're gonna throw on HP to, to burn, then yeah, why not? Or Cloud could use it. But I don't know, it dictates how much your limit break will go up and how much damage you'll take overall, so you should be careful with it. Tifa could use it though, because you can't cast Berserk on a character and it's the only way to get it on, so I mean, it doesn't hurt to have somebody like Tifa with something like... Exactly that. The opposite of the Crescent Ring, which would be... The Berserk Fury Ring. Actually. 
understanding what they do. Purple Pain is another really good, solid choice for Tifa. She'll need the HP in that matter, okay, so of course, the situation. Carbo, Carbo is good for her too as well because Carbo is invigorating and gives her what she needs. She's gonna have the Fury Ring, she'd have the Chain Bangle on. Ice elemental. Elemental with ice is not what I want. I would like AP on the prayer though, I think. That'd be good. Or HP to do on some shit. Probably enemy skill because for now it seems like a good choice. What else do we need to work on that could be helpful right now? Well, I don't really need that many of those, is the thing. <laughs> Elemental with the fire is good, that can help a lot. That's something that makes her, like, really useful because all of her abilities are all magic. So it's like free magic with her, don't, you know? So when you socket in Elemental Fire, then you're just basically shooting fire magic out constantly with her. Steadfast block is good on Aerith, specifically. Another interesting um, combo is synergizing. Like, for example, lightning synergy, right? Then throwing in lightning HP absorption can make this become a very interesting way of healing. In other words, I think we could maintain health this way. I'm not gonna lie. Because if she gains health from lightning spells, then you gotta imagine that we'd be in good shape, right? Um, where is Cloud, by the way? I don't even remember where the fuck this douchebag is. Fucking guy. Is he in here? I don't remember. I don't fucking remember. Or is he in the center? I don't even know where Cloud went. Is he in the center room? We have to go to the center room, bro. To break up the party. But then we get dropped anyway, so it's sort of like null. So let's just go upstairs, I guess. We got the Fury Ring. We're good. Let's get the fuck out of here. We don't need anything right now. We're good. Let's go to the center room. The big room. Daddy's room. There we go. And that'll trigger the cutscene, and I uh, think you have a... We should have a minute to go into the menu. They don't let you play as Miss Big Breasts until much later. What is up with Japanese people though, like, or Asian people? Like, do they, do they think that, like, do they want to be white or something like that? Like, what's up with that? Do they have, like, a, like, a inferiority complex of, like, that they want to be white or want to have round eyes? Like, I don't... Like, I noticed it when it comes to, like, 
the way they dress and their culture it seems to derive around like like almost like as if they were the considered the alpha white people like they're considered the 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 superior white people the the, the ultimate caucasians or asians they think of themselves as superior whites is that is that like a thing i don't know if that's true or not but i heard of it but i'm not really a racist person so i really not i don't think of things like that because i don't judge by color and stuff but um but they said through demographic that yeah asians think of themselves as superior caucasians now i don't know if this is true um i hope it's not um because both asian caucasian whatever you are african doesn't matter shouldn't matter and i think we should all get along together as friends and no matter what walk of life you come from i don't think should anybody should be discriminated against um yeah uh i don't know what to say other than that shouldn't matter and no asians are not superior white people they are asian simply put if you're caucasian then you're white if you're asian then you're then you're oriental i mean you know maybe what would i say if you're middle east then you're probably middle eastern you're asian but i mean it's like orient meaning you're from the orient so asian you're not caucasian caucasian is white right i mean i don't know what the hell is going on these days with people in their minds but that's insane asians are superior white people what the fuck are they talking about whoever said white people were superior anyway i don't think they're superior i mean they're just fucking white people are white people there are a lot of douchey fucking white people so i mean whoever said white people were the best i don't get that you depraved bastard who decided white was the, was right i don't understand that who decides the color it's like the price is right you're dealing with a dude dude what the fuck i'm not one of your bitches bro fucking ridiculous what you mean your girls with your girls oh yeah now we got <laughs> i love this part because when he's with what they say she's like i'm gonna rip them off i'm gonna tear them off i'm gonna break them they literally held it on line for line it's great like why gonna fucking smash them Ooh. I don't know what you're talking about. I could do a good, I could do a good Don Corneo, by the way. <laughs> don't believe me? I could do Cloud if I wanted to, too, but I'll cut him off. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll talk, I'll talk. He's a fucking asshole, though, this guy. He's always been a douchebag. Because <laughs> if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> but then, like, he's like, I'm gonna smash him, bro. Or oh, she'll smash him. <laughs> Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Oh, no shit. Shinra. Heidegger. And what were they planning? Planning on fucking you. you know. See, I feel you. So sure See, are. I'm not sure they are. Okay. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash him. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since I want to move up to reactors, Shinra decided they ought to stab them out, home base and all. And I mean stab out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The It'll be sector you know. Well, wait, I didn't say that yet. We come crashing down. And it'll be Sector 6 all over again. And seeing the records with yourself, you know exactly what Sector 7 is going to look like. They wouldn't 
They wouldn't. On, guys, oh, I can't do a girl. Right Fuck that. No, I wouldn't. No. <laughs> Please, this, Please, this won't take long. No. Knows, villains villains only devote their plans to a certain situation. What, what, what is that situation? Hmm? Mm. Um, well, when they know they won. <laughs> what do they, I mean, when they think they when they think they've already won. When they think they've already won. Right. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen we have ourselves a winner. You get an all you know, it's a trip, trip to the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Enjoy the sights and smells. Then we have to fight a fucking creature though. Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> so we still get fucked. I don't. But it does end the chapter. And the beginning of the next chapter. <laughs> this guy is. Just. Yes, no he leaves a bad taste in my mouth, this Mr. hider guy. Aww. The Sector 7 Undercity is But this president guy, he is a D bag. At least let us Big fat D bag. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <laughs> Alright guys. I will be in the episode, obviously. Um and I'm going to be covering chapter 9 separately, or well, chapter 10, now that we are finally through chapter 9. I think we did everything we needed to do, right? I hope. Because it's the beginning of chapter 10, but I'll be covering this in a different episode altogether. Because Rough Waters will be covered in Rough Waters. Chapter 10 hard. We'll be opening up in my next deal play coming up, guys. Join me. Um, probably be streaming in like a half hour. And we'll be picking up right from where we left off here. Which means we gotta prepare for the Ob Zoo and then make our way out of the sewers. Um, all that being said, I hope you guys like the show, Visual Guide. Uh, and, um, well, like and subscribe, of course. And, um, stick around. And get ready for my 10th chapter on this fucking game on hard mode. I will not make a move till then. Alright. Till then guys, keep it gaming and keep it safe. Thanks for watching.